And what's up, guys? Welcome back to a good time here doing some dedicated farming. We got Max, and then we got H and B Farms coming in here soon. He's just got to get some things loaded up, you know. Just uh, obviously get all that other stuff, mods, and all that other crazy junk. Hey, um, Max. Yep. Hey. I'm only at 21%, buddy. I don't I don't think you, if you just keep following me around, I think you're going to start getting bored of uh, driving at four mile an hour because I, sure I sure as heck am getting tired of driving four mile an hour right now. Oh, my gosh. Is, is that the only field we have in, uh, in soy? soy this, beans, right? Yeah, this is the only field we got in soybeans. I might hop over to that John Deere track or the John Deere combine. I'm not going to lie. That's what I want to run when I get down, down here. Is this the 2388? You know, it's the greatest case combine ever created. Don't get me wrong. Endorse it 100%. Wow, of junk. It's just slow. <laughs> it's just so slow. <laughs> I think uh, I think we'll just run over there and grab the other combine. I can remember how to shut this thing off. There we go. We're going to power her down and get the other combine I think it's right there if I can select oh I don't want to reset it that would be that would be bad all right it's already running hey what's up farm master how we doing how is it going buddy let's see if I can make it through the ditch with this big old 70 STS combine without taking out my buildings or anything like that <clears throat> Hey, just so everyone knows, live chat's open, everybody. You guys can more than welcome to hop down in there, talk, say some things, ask some questions, anything you guys want to know for anything in the future, anything going on presently. It's all, I mean, my answer, most of them, not all of them, depends. Depends on what kind of questions y'all be asking. Oh, not too bad, man. Just getting some work done, you know. I see... I think I see Max running, running across the field. What are you doing, Max? I'm looking at you driving in ditches. I mean, that's uh, part of your film. <laughs> Getting stuck everywhere. I know. I thought I was. I thought I wasn't gonna make it there for a second. Oh no! I screwed up. <laughs> I forgot to put the bean head on. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I was kind of curious why you're driving down there with uh, not the bean head. All right. Well, this is what we'll do. We'll just uh go in here for a second detach it hopefully don't get any oh yeah i'm gonna have corn in here we're gonna unload it oh, i would uh, park the uh the trailer in the middle of the field so that way we can empty when we get to the edge of the field and we can run the two combine okay sounds good i'm wondering why we have this long ass auger on here like, I don't think there's no point for having this really, really long auger. I think this thing's got to be like a 30-foot auger, and all I got is like an 8-row corn head and I think a 25-foot or 30-foot bean head. Don't make no sense. <clears throat> Unless it makes sense to you guys. I mean, personally, it doesn't make sense to me. Is that what we ran last time, Max? Do we have this long auger on there? Uh, can't re uh, yeah, yeah. I remember I had a hard time pulling on, pulling under it because it was so far from the header. Yeah. Interesting. I, I mean, had no a hard time aligning myself. <laughs> I don't know if I can get in here and grab this. Uh, you know, anything's possible. I guess. Screw it. I'm gonna say I don't know if I can get in here and grab this bean head. I'm gonna have to use the power of Zeus or whoever it is. Thor. No, not Zeus. Thor. Who was it? Hercules. Yeah, there we go. I was using Hercules. All right, never mind, we got it. Now the real question is, can I make it through the door? <laughs> oh my gosh, there's no way. <laughs> uh, I gotta do this perfectly, but perfectly is not lining up perfectly. Let me out. Not let me out. All right, we're gonna have to use this door. <clears throat>
Hey, what's up, farm bros? What are you doing, buddy? Oh, Farm Master, it is uh, Missouri River Bottoms is the map. Forgot to let you know about that one. And Missouri River Bottoms by uh, uh, River Bottom Customs is the mod maker. Go check them out, or if you are in the Discord, I did. I think I did post. Uh, I think I did post a link to it. It's on their itch page. Um, came out probably, I would say three months ago. I think you said three or four months ago. Yeah. Oh, it came out. It was it was pretty recent. Good. It's a really really good map. I like it. I mean, it's flat, so I ain't got to worry about. Play that. Ain't got to worry about a lot of hills. Don't worry, Max, I'm coming. This time it's, uh, I'm running over some corn, so. I don't know. <laughs> Good thing corn's only $3 a bushel, right? Yeah, no you kidding. You left, left to harvest when you get here because I'm only running at like three miles an hour. All right, I'm here. I'm here. Oh, wait, you're harvesting? Okay. I got to say. Yeah, I parked the, the trailer should, in the middle I, of the field so we can dump it. Oh my I God. should be in here about 20 minutes. I'm just trying not to get stuck in this ditch. <clears throat> Alright, so you can harvest at 4 mile an hour. I can harvest at 6. This is, uh, this is what we're doing. Heck yeah. I think we forgot to spray for weeds. I think that's one thing we forgot to spray for. <clears throat> it does look like that, yeah. <laughs> it's all right. We're not really hurting the yield too much. I mean, the yield's pretty herded. Herded. Hurting. Yeah, there we go. The yield is hurting. <laughs> but I think uh, I think we'll be all right. Oh, yeah, 100%. Oh, farm bros, I'm doing pretty good. Woke up a little bit late. That's why I uh, didn't get exactly started when I wanted to get started. But I was, I was in the call with uh, somebody that I'm gonna try making some more videos with. If you guys have ever heard of the herd, I know it sounds kind of funny to say like, "Have you heard of the herd?" But I think I think he should definitely make that his slogan for his YouTube channel. But I was talking with him last night, and uh, I think in the future, me and him are gonna start doing some collaborations. So I was up a little late talking with him. But uh, Max woke me up after pinging me probably about. Oh, shoot. How many was it? It was like seven, nine. nine. I think it was nine times. So it was like him picking me, and then my alarm went off, and then my... Yeah, it was it was, it was was a mess. Woke up, knew I needed water that second, because my mouth was dry. <clears throat> you guys ever just wake up, and your mouth is just ungodly dry, and then it's like, you start, not screaming, but you're just like... Ugh. Sound like Frankenstein waking up. Start your day with a beer. <laughs> well, you know, I would and I could. I really wasn't feeling it, you know. I think uh, I think some I think my buddies and all of us were uh, trying to go to the trying to go to the beach later on, but if I go out and do some shenanigans like that, I probably won't be able to go to the beach. <clears throat> I need to figure out whether or not it's the header or if it's the combine and that's why that combine only goes four mile an hour because I'm pretty it only goes like four mile an hour when you're when you're harvesting beans and I'm pretty sure it goes like five when you're harvesting corn makes no sense because I know you can go like six harvesting beans and you can go like seven harvesting corn because I've even gone it speeds, it speeds <coughs> up when you get out of the the be out of the bean so I don't know if it's kind of restrictive or does it like kind of require a certain amount of horsepower I don't know, I, don't know. I mean that's a small bean head on there too I would have figured you know it would have been would have went way faster you know you got that combine <laughs> experience in there, don't you? No, I don't have that mod. That mod is not. You shouldn't. That mod is not on my list of mods I couldn't live without. You know, I had it once, and I was like, okay, well, this is this is this is terrible. You should be. 
Do you have the vehicle add-on? Vehicle add-on? Yeah. What does that do? Do you have it? I don't know, maybe. Well, explain, to me, explain to me what it does. Maybe I do. No, no, maybe. We don't have vehicle add-on because of the, okay. of the front. <laughs> the GPS file thing. Oh. And I don't know what it could be. We have guidance steering, though, but I don't know how to make it work. It's not even enabled, is it? I don't think so. I, I can't seem to be able to use it. I mean, I'm not even using GPS. I mean, I got guidance steering on, on this combine, but I'm not using it. Hey, what's up, Agco Farmer? How okay, we doing, I buddy? Run. I want to run the John Deere, man. I run the John Deere. I mean, I'll. Once we get done with beans, I mean, we could. I could. I can run cart. I have no problem with running cart because carts. You know, at least I'm moving around all the time. You guys can harvest the corn. I'll bounce around in the carts and. Oh, Max, I'm sorry, but I want. I don't want to take the core. I don't want to take these beans all the way down to the to the co-ops. <laughs> so. uh... <laughs> Might be you, buddy. <laughs> it's all good. It's not that bad of a I'm drive. Do the dirty work. It's not that bad of a drive. I'm not gonna lie. It's, I mean, it feels like it takes forever, but it's not that bad. Could be worse. It's okay. It probably will fit all in one truck. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think uh, I think the truck fits. I think it's just over a thousand. I think it's a thousand ninety-six bushels, and that grain cart's a thousand fifty-one. So, yeah, probably. If you want, you can just start heading down and back now, because I think we got almost two full passes around the whole thing. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. A hey, live about ten minutes. Live chat. You guys haven't already, be sure to subscribe to Midwest Midwest Ag, guys. Get all sorts of great content, all sorts of news. If you guys join the Discord server, post mods in there. Um, working on currently trying to get like farm sim news in there. See if I can get uh, some things working out with that. Currently waiting on my um, approval for Giants Partner Program. Seeing how that can go. I applied for it. I think it was like month and a half ago, no two months ago I applied for it like two months ago and I didn't get it because my oldest video was not in the time requirements so I had to wait but now now that we waited and I have videos now within the time requirements I've gained more uh, followers over on Facebook if you guys haven't make sure you guys go check out the Facebook and you guys can go check out TikTok too I also have a TikTok now made a TikTok for us um, can't go live on TikTok yet so I kind of need you guys' help. I need to get to, I think it was like 100 followers on TikTok. So if once I get to 100 followers, we can start going live on TikTok. We can also start posting more posting more on TikTok. Oh, it's 1,000? All right, well, once I get to 1,000, I need to get to 1,000. So basically, I need all of you guys to let your friends know and their friends know and, and their dog know that they need to follow me on TikTok so I can start going live on TikTok. <clears throat> I, also, I, I could have swore it was like 100 because my buddy got like 100, or 100 followers on TikTok and he was able to go live and I thought that was kind of weird. Uh, awesome. I don't know. He cheated the system, I guess. <clears throat> He's out here making people proud. Hey. Um, you're dropping off my clothes tomorrow at the church, so. What do you have? Nope. Sound like a crazy radio ad. All right, so we're just chugging along still. Uh, I'm at 34%. What are you at, Max? I'm at 56. Only 56? Dang. <clears throat> yeah, yield was better at the other end of the field. <laughs> it is. I don't know why the yield doesn't want to be any better. It makes no sense. I know we limed this field because I limed it myself, uh, but did we fertilize it? Hmm. No, you know what I think happened? So the, the bean planter, <clears throat> I don't think we had fertilizer. Maybe we did. I don't know. Hold on. Let me, let me look. Oh, did we over-fertilize it because it's soybean? No, because there's no fertilizer for soybeans. 
So we're our yeah, expect our expected yield potential is only a hundred percent. So I mean we're 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 getting pretty good yield for what our expected yield potential is. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, one one ten. Uh, yeah, one ten is is dark green, right? Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> so we're we're doing pretty good. We're at a ninety nine percent yield potential out of a hundred and hundred and five percent. So it's not us that's bad. It's just the ground here is bad. I'm getting some good at green areas, though. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, yeah. Me too, yeah. <laughs> it's almost like a... Almost like I'm really, really farming here. Ex watching the color change throughout the entire map. Look at that case old combine over there. Yeah. Case combine right there. Hey, everybody. Oh, everybody in the chat, drop your favorite... Favorite piece of equipment, favorite tractor, favorite combine, favorite, well, yeah, we'll just keep it simple. We'll just tractors and combines. Mine, personally, if I had to, you know, not flip it up from the green side, would be a, uh, I think it was a, 15, I think it's a 1566. Yeah. 1566. Great, great tractor. Tractor, not tractor. 8335R. Oh my gosh. Dang right. If I had to stay with the John, me. if I had to stay with the John Deere side, I'm gonna go with a fifty twenty because that's a big workhorse. Forty nine fifty five, baby, yeah. <laughs> that is a big that's a big old tractor. And then for classical reasons, just cause I enjoyed driving them when I was little. I think I'm going to do with a 4440 John Deere. Yeah. What kind of case magnum? You know, you realize there's like case magnum. There's a 7120 case. There's a 7130 case magnum. I think there's like a 71 or no. Yeah, there's like a 7140. I'm pretty sure. Case magnum. Those are back in the day. We got freaking all the older case magnums back in like 2010. I think uh, it was like a 235 case all the way up to like a 420 case. And then after that, I just decided to bounce into doing quad tracks. Unless unless you like every case magnum that ever existed, and then, I mean, that's 100% okay. Max, I left yeah, you. Yeah, I got all the third. I left I Max with an idiot row. Mods. Got all the mods? All right, Blake. Imagine this: the R series don't exist. They they haven't been invented yet. The John Deere gods have not decided to make something that was literally just a fifty twenty. A fifty twenty. Yeah. Well, I mean, you don't like eighty one tens or nothing. No, uh, I mean, on our farm in real life, that's our uh, real. Real life tractor. That's their oldest piece of equipment. What the fifty twenty? Yeah. Holy shoot! You have a you have a fifty twenty. No. No 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 no. The eighty one hundred is our oldest piece of equipment on our farm. Oh, okay. That makes that makes some sense. That's all this thing. Just an old one, honestly. All right. Then congratulations, Joshua. I'm going to give you the 7120 Case Magnum because I used to drive one of those. Uh, we used it to haul, I think it was like two gravity, or yeah, we used to use it to haul like gravity wagons around and then mostly we kind of just used it as a, an auger tractor, even though it's kind of a waste of, waste for a big tractor like that. And we also mowed ditches with it too. It's kind of a waste for a big tractor to make it an auger tractor, but that was kind of its only purpose. <clears throat> Good tractor, though. Thing would max out at about, I think it was like 19, 20 mile an hour. Really good.
I'm going to make it so that way you can just start on that, uh, that side closest to you, Max. So I'm just going to cut in and hopefully I don't get some, like, small rows going on. Yeah, like the one you left me. Yeah, that was, that was my bad. I'm not going to lie. I don't know how that happened. That was kind of, that just kind of happened, you know? It's all good. What I should do is I should try to put a Patriot plot on, or like not a Patriot plot, but yeah, yeah, the Patriot plot on the side of the, one of those cases and see if I can make it fit. So we got like two combines with the American flag on it and maybe even put like a bush light flag or like, uh, what is it? Uh, what do you want to do? You want to brand the combine with a beer company? Hey man, it's okay. <laughs> I think, uh, there's a there's one combine I forget who who made it but it's uh I'm pretty sure it's a 70 STS, no no it's not it's um it's an S760 R or not R geez it's S760 combine, uh it's got a bush light skin on it. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, it is pretty cool. But then like it gets dirty and you can barely read it and it's it's just a pain. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you what, if I get the, the small little idiot row, I'll work it. I'll, I'll do it, even though I don't like doing them. So we'll just keep plugging away, getting this all done, getting all these beans done, baby. The beans takes just way too long. I haven't even, I haven't even unloaded yet, and we've got like half this field done. <laughs> Uh, 80% now. We should uh we should get some like wheat far or wheat harvesting going. Do some crazy stuff like that. Like har like oh, turn yeah. turn every field into one field and get like six combines out here and make it all wheat. Oh, that'd be so boring. It'd be so unrealistic. Hey, it's it, anything's possible, you know. <clears throat> yeah, that'd be boring though. You're just a hater. <laughs> What uh? What percent are you at, Max? I'm at seventy-four. Uh, I'm at eight, eighty-three, so I'll I'll uh, drop when I get to the other side. Oh man, I'm even I'm even catching up to you. How's it even possible? I think I got more storage up here. <coughs> how many how many bushels do you have? I would uh, say two seventy-five, something like that. Two seventy-five. Well, I have two forty-five now, but I would assume about two seventy-five for all. Dang, I'm at 343. There you go. You got you got probably like four or four fifty. <clears throat> but you know, any slower than that, this combine's gonna be a placeable, not a mod. Yeah. I feel like I feel like I remember it going faster when um when we were using it for corn. I think I remember it going faster, but I'm not really sure. And for we'll all, we put it on the corn header. for all I know, it could be just the header too, because like the header can restrict the speed too. So if you look in like the XML files and all that stuff, like the the headers, it like restricts the speed down to a specific speed limit. <clears throat> so say for instance, like this bean head right now has me set to where I can only go six mile an hour. Well, I hook up to the corn head and then in the XML file there, it says I can go seven or eight mile an hour, you know, bouncing between there, you know, cruise out some corn, you know. But I mean, I'm going a realistic speed for doing beans. I'm not going to lie because like beans takes forever and I hate beans, but it's okay. I'm not, I'm not going to, I'm not here to call out my hating on beans. I'm here to say that the bean header that you have should go way definitely faster but unless i'm could be mistaken on uh, the year i could be uh, mistaken on the year for hour. yeah yeah no 100 percent. but i could be mistaken on the year for what it is maybe maybe that year you know wasn't enough horsey power in the combine even though it's like a big piece of machinery all it is is a motor with a grain tank it's pretty much or it's all just an engine and a grain tank that's literally all it is 
but I could be wrong. I guess the quality of the errors back in these days might have been. Uh, oh, they were just unable steel. To get they were giant steel, right. like they were just metal steel. They just made noises, clang, moved back and forth, cut cut wheat and all sorts, or cut beans and all that stuff. Aw, oh, dang. Aw, oh, dang. Yeah, we're gonna, have, we're gonna have an idiot reel. Don't worry, you leave it for I me. Was, I was starting to make one when, uh, <laughs> I was checking for the header. Yeah, when you, when you drive back, leave whatever it is for me and I should be able to clear it out and then I'll be full. You about it, because I'm about at 90% right now, so. I'm at 92, I'm just going to barely finish my own. Ah, it's all good. Hey, Austin Johnson, man, what's up? How you doing? <clears throat> hey, chat, by the way, if you guys haven't already, be sure to subscribe to Midwest Ag. You know, you guys like the content, you like Farm Sim, you guys like American Trucking Simulator, you guys like anything just to do with agriculture in general, you know, feel free to support, drop a like, or not a like, a subscribe. You can like too. Don't forget to like the live too. You know, that's always important. Make sure you guys are liking the live. You know, I see, I know there's been a bunch of you guys coming through here. So be sure to smash that like button so that way more people can come in and we can have a great eve or well, a great evening for everyone back in the States and a great morning for myself over here. Definitely forgot to grab my coffee this morning, so things are a little bit uh not as good as they should be. <clears throat> my favorite truck. Are we talking like semi truck? Are we talking about pickup truck? What are we talking? What kind of truck are we talking about? I dump on the top. Okay, that is stupid. Are you trying to dump into my combine? Yeah, I thought, I mean, gen generally you should be able to, but I don't know why not. Yeah, normally it works, but it doesn't seem like it wants to. I'm out of the way anyway. Favorite pickup truck. Mm, 1997 Ford F-350. Four-door, long, long box. <clears throat> Something about an OBS Power Stroke really, really just screams, heck yeah. Um, if I had to do a secondary, and I'd have to say probably like a 97 to an early 98 Dodge with a, with a 12 valve in it. If I wanted to get something more like had more electronics to it, then I'd probably do like a 2001 Dodge with a 24 valve in it. Just so that way I can have pain and suffering with a VP44 injection pump, but it's okay. I'd get over it eventually. Oh my gosh. But yeah, or Ford. You know, built Ford tough. No other company has All that. Right. No no other company has that saying, you know, like Dodge. I mean, well, now it's Ram. So what is it? Just I mean, like, Ram. Ram is Ram up. Ram is Ram up. <clears throat> I mean, yeah, it's Ram. Ram is Ram it. But like, if you think about it, it's like, what is it? Is it Dodge the father and Ram the daughter? Or what are we talking about? <clears throat> Sorry, I didn't mean to say that on live, but I'm whatever. The daughter and Ram the daughter. I don't know. That's I mean that's something that I was told back in high school, but you know, I mean if they if they would say that saying, they'd probably get you know hit with a fine. But it's okay. I'm not too worried about it. <clears throat> and then what is it? Chevy is what is Chevy's slogan? The greatest truck in America? Because that's just like asking too much.
I feel like I spewed on long enough about trucks. Uh, what about you, Austin Johnson? Johnson, Austin? What's your favorite pickup truck? He's probably going to say something like, I like International. Back in the day when they made pickups. All right, my lady. We used to get these old K-10s and uh, these old PJ trailers. Yeah. I'm going to bust out the, the auctioneer voice. You see, back in my day, we used to drive these international trucks, and they were the greatest thing ever. It's like driving a brick. And we sold one another, yeah, let's just sell that son of a gun. Yeah, uh, that's... He's, <laughs> imagine driving... A, I think an, you guys didn't get enough sleep. Oh, I did. I got... I think I got like eight and a half hours of sleep. I'm not going to lie. I feel pretty pretty refreshed. I could go for a coffee, though, 100%, if you are uh, willing to give me some coffee, but... Delivery prices may be a little bit different. <clears throat> <laughs> Might be, yeah. By the way, I don't have much of an idiot row over here. I probably got like a foot and a half on either side of my bean head, so I think I did pretty good for myself. <clears throat> good. Yep, but the yield, the yield. I mean, I'm right now, I'd say if I had to guess, I'm sitting at probably like, oh shit, probably 47 bushels an acre, 50 bushels an acre. I want some 90 bushel maker beans, please. Pretty please. Not today. You know, it's probably because we're doing dry land. That's probably why, you know. That's probably why we're not getting good yield. It's because we've got these dry land beans. These dry land beans, baby, they're just, they just ain't doing it, baby. Oh, yeah, by the way, happy National Ag Week, guys. You know, for the guys. You intact, no? What? You, you didn't want to fly out of Japan to go to PAX? Nah, nah. Happy National Ag Week, though. 100%. Thank you for everyone back home. Whether or not, you know, you guys are in agriculture, you guys aren't in agriculture. I, you know, I don't care. But appreciate every single one of you guys back home doing the stuff that you know, every American in the world should do, but they just don't want to because they think it's terrible and terrible working conditions, even though it's like the best thing ever in the world. Because if you've ever farmed before in your life or even did anything sort of farming, you know, it's like, it's just the best. So, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, baby. And make sure you guys keep smashing that like button on the live. I'm trying to get up there. I'm trying to get a whole bunch of viewers. We're trying to reach like over 300 views by the end of the night. We're just going to keep on plugging away, doing beans, doing corn. Uh, the map. It's the map. The map is the map. Um, Missouri River Bottoms by River Bottom Customs. Go check them out. Subscribe to their uh, itch. You know, check them out. They have a lot of good mods in there. A lot of uh, really high detailed. Works really good. Everything everything in there is pretty great. I'm not going to lie. <clears throat> the fact that I've only dumped in that truck, or not the truck, the grain cart once. And I'm still only at a hundred bushels right now. Is insane. I'm not seventy five. We need we need to make a really big genetically modified bean and sell it. <clears throat> and then so that way we can get like a hundred and ten bushel an acre beans. I'll let you work on that. Yeah, I think what you gotta do is you just gotta you gotta take a corn and a bean and you gotta you like scientifically breed them together. <clears throat> yeah, I hope you were saying scientifically because uh, it's an all age channel, right? Yes. Yeah. You gotta scientifically do it. 
So you take the you take the corn and you take the bean and then you use a bunch of science. You drop some drop some weird droplets on it, make some weird color smoke, make the make everything change color in your little sciency room. And the next thing you know, you have a cor you have a bean that grows like corn. And the next thing you know, people are gonna have three hundred. And I have a bean on a cob. <laughs> yeah, it's a bean on a oh, cob. Bean on the cob. So then by then, people are going to start having 300 bushel and acre beans. And then I could change the industry. Oh, you solved everything there. I could. <laughs> and then I could put Brazil out of the soybean business. <laughs> are you doing on fuel? Because I'm, I'm getting pretty down there, you know. Yeah, I'm happy. Half? Okay, I'm just under half. Probably after we get this done, we'll have to stop up there, grab some fuels, and uh, you know, get everything ready for doing some current. We bought a tank in this time, didn't we? Uh, I think we did. I think it's in the back of one of those trucks, if I remember right. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I think you, you fixed one. One was not working. Yeah, I think it was just because the game decided that it wanted to uh, not work for us, but it's all good. It works now. <clears throat> just had a situation where things were just not working out great. Dear, 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 dear. On the road again. I just can't wait to get on the road again. Nah, that's not a good song. Oh, Willie's in the house. Yeah, Willie, <laughs> w Willie Nelson made it. Or, I was a highway man. Along the po- Or, how the rest of that song go? Something I did ride. With something by my side. Many uh, maiden so lobsters. It's a good thing you're in agriculture, right? Yes. Many a young maid lost her bubbles to my trade. Many a soldier shed his lifeblood on my blade. And then, in the spring of 25... <clears throat> old country? Baby, lock them doors and turn the lights down low. Or are we going older than that? Are we going, like, way back? Okay. <laughs> Cause we can go back to putting years with songs in the country. Years with songs. Yeah, I know. You know, I, every song I know, I know what year they're from. You know, or or what destiny they come from. But country, I can't put a date on a song. It's a hard time. All right. If you think about it, if it's any like Willie Nelson song. You gotta automatically. Oh, that's old. I know it's old. Yeah, you gotta know it's. You gotta know it's old. But like Waylon Jennings, you know, or like uh, Hank Williams. Waylon Jennings is like what the fifties? Well, late fifties, beginning of the sixties. Waylon Jennings was sixties, seventies, and then you go into Hank yeah. William Hank yeah. Williams Senior, then you're getting uh, you're getting in there, and then you got Hank Williams Junior, and then you got Hank Williams Junior son or whoever the heck it was. I can't remember off the top of my head. Hank Williams Jr. Jr. Yeah. Or the third. I think it's Hank Williams the third. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll move out of the way. What are you talking about? I was just cruising up behind you. Hey, I'm going to just go by. And, uh, you can go faster than me. Well, that means now you got to do a small row. Yeah, it's See, awesome. how, how, what level of fairness is that? Guys, I'm wondering if I should order Taco Bell or not. Ta Taco Bell? Yeah. That would be... I I wouldn't be able to make it. I wouldn't live. Guys, make sure you guys are liking the live. Holy crap. Just kidding. Hey, we're just trying to make it to our goal. Everybody, we're trying to make it to at least 50 likes by the end of the live. Have at least 350 people view this thing. We're just out here well, you, doing you're some so funky greedy. stuff. I one person watching my Twitch. You what? You're so greedy. I, w I have one person wa watching my Twitch now. One person? Yeah. <laughs> well, he's a lo he's a loyal customer. The ones that matter. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if uh, Austin Johnson's still here. 
Johnson Austin, Austin Johnson, you never told me what your favorite truck was, and I spewed like 20 minutes of about trucks. Built Ford tough, baby. Now imagine this. Every other truck company used Ford's like slogan. So we got Dodge. Dodge. Built Ram tough, baby. <laughs> or Chevy. No, I can't. I, there's there's nothing. Chevy. Built Chevrolet tough. <laughs> Chevy is a pile of junk. Oh, my gosh. On on Jesus. On Jet, it is. No, it's not that bad. Hey, make sure you guys smash that like button, eh? We're gonna switch cultures here and switch over to the north north of the border in Canada, eh? That's actually extremely extremely rude what I just did there. Sorry, I take it back. Unless you're Canadian and you're like the trailer park boys kind of Canadian, then it's okay. I'm sure you would not get mad. Exactly. That's exactly who I am. You are? Oh, yeah. Your trailer yeah, park? the one with the thick glasses. Yeah. Your bubbles? Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. All right. Say his classical, here, kitty, come, kitty, come, kitty, here, kitty, come, kitty. That's not even... Watch the thing. I think I've watched one episode. Of that. That's it. Oh my Talk gosh, man! Yeah. I've watched. Uh, I couldn't tell you. I watched a lot of Trailer Park Boys. It's hilarious. It's like too funny. You have to have your own sense of humor to like understand, or you have to have a special sense of humor in order to understand it. But it's it's just too good. <clears throat> I was trying to watch it while I was working in Colombia and uh, couldn't focus on it. So. Oh. Yeah, that'd be a little hard, I would about imagine. Guys, everybody, to, to like the live. Spirit. You wanted to watch The Descendant? I wanted, no, I wanted to understand all the memes. Oh, oh, with Trailer Park Boys? Yeah, everybody was talking about it. I was like, yeah, I want to know what they're talking about. Yeah, it's just like I watched Transformers the other day for the first time. That was fun. It was interesting seeing that for the first time. We're going to zoom in here on the American flag as we're, uh, you know, it's cloudy and I don't like that it's cloudy because we're not really bringing oh, up. We should, be, we should get some Toby Keith in here. Oh, yeah, yeah, 100%. I ain't as good as I once was. Or, um, who's your daddy? Who's your baby? Who's your buddy? Who's your man? Kyle. I uh, F I'm gonna I'm gonna screw up your last time, so I'll just call, call you Kyle, man. Kyle, what's up, man? How we doing? Hi. Hello. <clears throat> you have any monsters lately? Joking. I didn't mean it. I'm in a great mood today. Playing farm sim, got Max with me, and I got Blake eventually. Kind of trying to load in. I don't know exactly how that's working out for him. We're getting there. You getting there? All right, good. Yeah. I got one mod that's taking about 10 months. So. 10 months? Okay, so we'll see you in a little bit. Yeah. Got like three mods down then. And I said, Dave, I ain't as good as I once was. Once I'm going to start enabling supers, and I swear if you guys, you know, want me to sing a song, as long as I can karaoke it through my phone, we can do this. <clears throat> but until then, until I feel like robbing people's money, we're not doing that. 100%. Right now, the songs will be free. Dang, Max. If only you would have drove in a straight line and we would have been able to get all the beans done and not have a little bit left. 
<clears throat> Max, what are you doing? I'm gonna run you over. Right, I'm gonna go, uh... No, that doesn't make any sense. Why? Why is that like that? Oh, whatever. I don't care. I'm gonna go dump. I'm gonna. <clears throat> I'm gonna go take a take the dump inside of the into the side of the green card, baby. With my number one. That was a ninety-six. Oh, it's a ninety-eight seventy. Holy crap! A big boy chugging. The ninety-eight seventy STS. John Deere approved. Lumber liquidators assessed. How full are we getting? We're at 75%. Oh my gosh. Hopefully we could fit uh, everything that Max has got in there. Kind of just chugging along as slow as molasses. As molasses. Can you hear me now? Oh yeah, yeah. I, I guess uh, clear. I, I can, yeah. What happened? I was out. I don't know. Uh, so, uh, Discord just kicks my voice out of my headset for no apparent reason. Interesting. Well, we have this situation. The microphone doesn't work, so I have no clue how it happens. It's all good, man. Don't think about it too much. If you think about it, then it's just going to be over. And it's Discord, because uh, my OBS is still picking up my mic, so I have no clue why Discord does that. Yeah, it's Discord, man. I'm telling you. Discord's stupid like that. Like, every once in a while when I join a game, it kicks my freaking... Picks uh, everyone's audio away, but everyone else can hear me, but I can't hear them. <laughs> yeah. I think Discord was built with AI or something. Discord is old. I'm not no, going to... Chat GPT. Discord Chad is really GPT, old. That's what Discord was. <laughs> Discord was made with Chad GPT. Do you think so? Uh, wasn't it uh, financed by, the, by cryptocurrency, the Discord thing? Probably. You're asking the wrong was. person. Yeah, honestly, you're asking the wrong people. I'm not that. I'm not <laughs> you're that. Asking the wrong. I'm. I'm not that intelligent. Did you fill up the green card completely? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I did. I did, Mike. It's full. She's full. Okay. I did, Mike. <laughs> All right, we're gonna rope. Yeah, we're gonna rod bomb okay. it through the field. Yeah. You wanna pick me up here? Yep. Yeah. Who's your daddy? Who's your baby? Who's your buddy? Who's your man? So you want you want me to drive that straight to the co-op, right? Yeah, once we get it loaded up with the old uh, the old beans out of the grain cart, and I think uh, I think we should be good. Yeah, I'll I'll, I'll switch that over if you wanna switch the headers while I'm gone. Yeah, I probably should get all that done by the time you by the time you get back. Yeah. Um, uh, whatever doesn't fit. Wait, hold on. What are we at? You you can continue dumping. I'm just going to see where we're at here in, in the old truck. 24% at 200 boot. Oh, my goodness. We should be able to fit it all, hopefully. If not, then uh, we can just dump it in the neighbor's yard. I don't see any problem with that. <laughs> The neighbor would probably be very generous that we dumped a bunch of soybeans in their yard, but be okay. Ah, I think we'll be pretty close to fitting it all. I think so? Yeah, I got 60% of it in the front, so. Oh, really? Okay. Oh, yeah, I'll fit all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Heck yeah, good Definitely. thing. Definitely. I'm already empty and not even half of the back is full. Good thing we got that bigger, or that bigger uh, trailer. I wonder what these soybeans are going to sell for, you know, we could probably get some more fields, you know, and start making more money, and, I mean, we made pretty good money off that corn harvest we did the last time, we made, like, what, 300000 That's that, that, that was crazy. <coughs> oh, 
but we'll see what happens. I think, uh, wait, Blake, are you still in here? Did you, did you crash out? He probably crashed. Yeah, he definitely crashed. Whoopsie. Oh, no, spaghetti. Oh, no, the Kool-Aid, man. You know? Now, you have to tell me, how do we skip screen? How can I jump to my second screen without, like, control, alt, delete? The thing out there. What are you talking about? I can do it like that. There's no way you can move from farm sim to your second screen without at least pressing exit or something. You have to be in a menu, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's the only. That's the only way that I have found. It's very annoying, but I mean, hey, whatever. Screw it. I wanted to pull my, my Twitch back up because, you know, my <coughs> one viewer, I want to be there. Oh, yeah, he, he's probably talking. You haven't even been talking to him. Yeah, I'm, I'm, probably, the, I'm probably the one viewer. <laughs> oh, you're, you're watching yourself on Twitch? Uh, it's, it's probably me. I mean, one person speaking the whole time. Hey, not answering to nothing in the chat, so it's probably me. What if he just likes listening to your, your voice or something? He's probably like, yeah. This guy. This guy right here, he's him. <laughs> Wait, which way are you going? Oh, you're going to that that dealership? Oh, okay. Or that co-op? Yeah. Uh, isn't the co-op the thing at the middle of the road there? Uh, hold on. Let's see which one has the best prices. All right. Okay. For, soy, oh, for soy beans. Uh, they forgot to put brakes on your new truck. <laughs> All right, you're going to want to haul to... Uh, not really worth it to rent the train because we're going to lose money anyway. So wherever the Langdon elevator is, I just tagged it. So wherever it is, you see a... You see... I see it if you tag it. You'd be able to. Uh, oh, hey, the Langdon elevator is down on the other end of the map. <clears throat> oh, cool. Sorry, the give, the elevator. Okay. It gives us enough time, oh, man. Okay. I'll, yeah, yeah, I'll drive. Anyway, it's a straight line, so. That's not really straight. There's some curves in there, but it'll be all right. Yeah, I don't mind. I'll drive straight. What is up, chat? How are we doing on this fine Sunday slash Saturday? Evening slash Sunday morning slash Saturday evening. Yeah, more like that. <laughs> yes. It is a beautiful day. The birds are chirping. The sun is shining. And then it is also a beautiful evening. The sky is dark and the stars are out. You know, well, you, you pick your you pick and choose, man. That's just how it goes. Who's your daddy? Who's your baby? Who's your buddy? Who's your man? All right, see if we can. Ah, I lagged. All right, there we go. We made it. We're making it. We're doing it. You know, we should probably try to fill these grain bins up, honestly. Now that I think about it. The ones that are at the home site, I think uh, if we filled those up, we'd have like a little bit more storage space storage space at the at the actual farm or is that just not an option it must not just be Are you in. talking to me now yeah i am i am 100 percent talking to you oh okay so you want me to fill what no i'm saying do you think uh do you think the grain bins that are at the home site at the house you think we should fill those up instead of the ones that are on the farm or should we just like say screw it Well, why don't we feel... Uh, we're going to sell corn in, what, January anyway? Yeah, not for a while, so we might as well use them all, huh? Yeah, well, if it, if it doesn't fit all in there, yeah, we'll have to keep it somewhere else. <clears throat> See, this is why this is why you have, like, an IQ of, like, 160. See, this is why, this is why you're intelligent. Decide which grain bin to use? Yeah, yeah, see, that makes you smart. <laughs> I 
Uh, if you ever drive that truck, there's no brakes on it. <laughs> no brakes? Well, just like if there was not. I feel like there is brakes, and they're just really uh, not sensitive. They just take forever to slow down. Cause that truck is a nineteen, like a nineteen forty something Kenworth, man. It's it's an old truck. Things like things like eighty years old, and they're out here. Explains a lot. You're over here driving it like it's a three seventy nine Peterbilt from two thousand nine. Three seventy nine, baby. You know what? I'm already there, or almost. Really? Holy crap! That was fast. I need to find out which one of the seven drop spots there is Langdon something. Uh, it's still marked, so I maybe you'll be able to see it. Do you see the giant green arrow in the sky? Yeah, I see no giant arrow in the sky, so you're probably the only one to see that. Dang, that's stupid. <clears throat> well, what is whichever one it is, the Langdon elevator, or something or other, you know, something creamy. Accidentally jumped out of the truck and put it on the train track, which is a very bad idea. <laughs> is the, tra the train isn't coming, is it? No, I don't think so. Because it'll be royally screwed, I swear. Dude, if that train hits that truck, it's 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 over. It's broken, hundred percent. It's gonna be snapped in half like a toothpick. Well, it would be a fine truck, that's for sure. Uh, okay. Let me find that out. Langdon, Langdon, Langdon. Which one are you? Uh, the, the corn dryer, which we don't need now. This is the way. So we're just picking corn right now, waiting for Max to get back with his truck. <clears throat> uh, I think Blake, uh, I don't know what happened to him. He's, he's just, he just went somewhere. He went to go get the milk. And he said he'll be right back. Yeah, I heard that before. Yeah. Yeah. So whenever he shows back up, you know, we'll probably, it'll probably be advanced 20 years ago. We'll be rich and famous and he'll probably want some money. <laughs> <laughs> um... I don't think our corn's yielding that good either. Like it's not. I mean, it's yielding better than it did before, but it's not yielding as good as I thought it was going to yield. It's like hang, it's like hanging out in the yellow. You know, I mean, at least it's a hundred percent yield, but like, I kind of wanted that hundred and ten percent yield. Did you check the uh, precision farming tab on that uh, soybean there? <laughs> See how much we got? What, for precision farming? Okay. Uh, uh, Our average yield for that soybean field was about anywhere from 80 to 95%, and sometimes 100%. And then we got to 110 in some places. That's not that bad. What is our soil? Oh, that's probably why, dude. We just have really bad soil. Yeah. Yeah. We, we got that silty clay. We're, uh, we're, not, we're not living too good. It's not looking too good for us with that silty clay. It's a good thing I have the Precision Farming app on my cell phone. But have you found the place to sell yet? Yeah, I'm uh, unloading right now. Oh, you're unloading right now? Why aren't we getting paid? <laughs> Are you sure you're not loading it in Kansas City? No, I put it in storage. That's oh. Why. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I was, I was, I was just confused, though. No, it's okay. It was. You did the, you did this uh, two days ago. Oh, it's with, my turn now. With the beans over so there. I'm gonna take it in the storage and uh, put it in the cell zone. <laughs> okay, I was just really confused, you know. And 
there's a big sign that, that I couldn't see, you know? Yeah, yeah, 100%, you know. But the funny thing at this place is that the cell point is where you should unload for the train. Yeah. And the storage is like a random spot. So. Anyway. Really? It's in a random spot. Well, it's, it's beside, but it's clearly not the train side, so. Interesting. The cell point is on the train side. That's really interesting. People be designing maps weird, I'm not gonna lie. <clears throat> there. there we go, baby. Getting that corn picked, son. I'm at 30%. Making great progress on the current. You know, we should definitely try to invest in some 12 row heads. Wait, no, we had no, we didn't have that last time, did we? No, we we're out here just using eight. How do we have that much money now? How? Weren't we broke the last time? No. Remember we sold all our crops? Oh, you're right. We sold. You're right. We sold all our corn. So before we had like I think it was like sixty thousand dollars. So yeah, we were kind of broke, and then we sold all our corn. Except oh, all except for like the three hundred and twenty-nine bushels, but yeah. Now we're getting money. Good thing. Gosh, beans suck. Could have waited a couple of months. We could have sold that stuff for way more. Oh, there we go. 18. That was 10,000, and that's 20,000. So 30,000 bucks. Not bad. 30,000 doll hairs Nothing. for some beans. And that's like a 12 row head right there man i'm telling you we could we could get 12 row heads we could sell that case combine and get a john deere combine with that money anything faster will do <laughs> anything faster anything faster than the case will do <laughs> i don't even know what combines we would have in this game i'm not gonna lie i think we got like one case no, I think there's two versions of the case. There's like JCL's edit. Oh my gosh, I'm about to lag through the corn like a mother. All right, well, we're good. All right, but yeah, there's like JCL's version of it. And then there's like the other guy's version. I don't remember who exactly who it is, but yeah. This JCL's version has the better sounds on it, and I'm pretty sure it's uh, his headers. But then the other version, I think, gets confused, not confused, but messed up from JCL's version, and just it just doesn't want to work that good. Corn, baby! Alright, well, I'm at 50%. We are chug-a-lugging five mile an hour. Oh, six mile an hour actually in my John Deere harvester. Because it can't be my international harvester. Chug looking five mile an hour in my international harvester. Something about old country music just just mm, beautiful. Hey, also, by the way, guys, there's also a Discord as well where great people like Max here is at, exists. He posts his content all the time in my, uh, uh, whatever it's called. I can't remember what it's called off the top of my head. Uh, Self-promotion. He promotes himself every day. 
it seems like. Sometimes every two days, it seems like. So go check out his YouTube. <laughs> go, ch go check out his YouTube. Go check out his Twitch. Go check out something. Make sure you guys go give him a, a like, follow, and subscribe on every platform that he has. Getting lost here? Where am I going? Oh no, here I am. Okay, I'm coming up. Which field did you start on? Uh, I am in fuel 30. Yeah, fuel 30, 30. 30, 30, 30, 30. Well, that's me going through the corn. Okay. Through it. Well, buddy. I'm at 71%. I might need a little bit of an unload here in a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'll be right here. Oh man, I'm missing a row. Holy crap. I wasn't even paying attention. I missed a whole row. <clears throat> yeah, see, now we're finally getting into the old bean or the corn harvest that I finally promised to you guys, and we're finally doing it. We're doing it. Ah, oh, it's because we... Okay, I see what happened there. That's kind of stupid. Wait, where are you at? You starting here yet? Oh, oh, oh okay. Okay, I see you. I was, conf I was confused. Big time. <laughs> yeah, that auger is very... Uh... <laughs> it's extravagant, man. It's got a lot of personality to it, you know? Definitely. <laughs> it's all it is, man. It's just, it's just out there. All right, 16, 17, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. I'm out. With 10 bushels left in my tank. It's okay. We're going to do it. Yeah, buddy. Dude, this lag is insane, man. I cannot stand this lag. It's always out there. It's always here to get me. What are you pinging at? Uh, like 98 to 115. Yeah, okay. What I'm are you? 65 and I'm still getting lags. Ah, uh, okay. I'm not the only one then. Well, uh, I suppose we could probably, no, you know what, never mind, I already started on the end rows. <laughs> Once I got these end rows done, we could just get the one AI going in the combine, and if you want to run the combine, I can run the car, whatever, whatever you want to do, man. I think the AI on the combine is better, yeah, because on the car, they're so slow to wake up. It does take them forever. All right, once I get uh, the whole field kind of open up here, we'll kind of get AI going, get him all set up. Since uh, life is good, yeah, I'll, very good. I'll, 
I'll bring that combine over. <clears throat> All right, there we go. Cutting along, baby. Guys, make sure you guys haven't already. Make sure you guys leave a like on the live. Uh, you guys also subscribe to Midwest Ag if you haven't already. You know, hit that little subscribe button down there. Check out more videos. They're out there. They're really good from what I've been told. I'm not bragging about my own videos. I'm just telling. Going based off what other people say, you know. If it wasn't for people and their feedback, I would have no idea how good my videos are. Or if how bad they are, they suck or whatever the situation is. Just don't worry. I get I get feedback on that too. I get plenty of suggestions, and it just it works out. You know, without suggestions, then how am I supposed to get better? You know. We're getting like poo poo yield, man. This is terrible. Who planted this corn? Was this you? I think it is. <laughs> I remember, like, I don't know, one of these fields definitely needs to, like, do way better because I feel like it, it, it's just not cutting it. It's not making the cut. All right, we're doing it, man. We're doing it. We're almost gotten the end rows open up on this field. Yeah, buddy. You're done with your headlands. Uh, what? When you're done with your headlands, you want to get the uh, the uh, case uh, combine maybe started with that worker. Yeah, I'll get him going. Probably won't set him up his own like path. For AI, we'll just, like, set regular gameplay AI in there and, like, let it go because, personally, I really don't want to deal with No, that. that's better. Yeah, as long as we have a headland, they won't end up in the ditch. That's the only thing. Yes, that's that's about it. And we already have our ditch specialist anyway, so. Yes, we do. Nobody can take my job title from me. Nobody, I swear. There's a reason I have the job title, and there's a reason that nobody else will have the job title. Oh, look. Never mind. You're... Uh, I'm trying hard right now. Oh, oh, you barely made it out. You barely made it out. Holy crap. <laughs> yeah, you better take off one other, one other head there, because... Uh... Honestly. Yeah, I won't make this side, yeah. That's kind of was the plan, as I was going to do three passes on here, and... Call it good and make everything look beautiful and gorgeous and amazing and pretty. But we'll see how that goes. It never ceases to amaze me the abundance of pickups that we have. We have like, what, three pickups? Which is insane. And didn't we sell some last time? I think we sold two of them. Yeah. Uh, who was using <clears throat> those? I don't know. I don't remember uh, who was I using guess it. I'll make a pass down here. No, oh, you could send that on AI, man. That's a straight pass. Just start AI right there. So that I way. No, but I'm not allowed to. <laughs> oh, Hob did. Hold on, let me let me let me promote you, man. Let me get you some permissions in life. No, it's not it's not fair that I have permissions and you don't. You got all the power. Yeah, no, I know. I didn't realize it. This was a di this was a dictatorship, and I didn't realize it. I think you can run up and down this way. Do you think? Yeah, probably. Yeah. Well, there he goes. We'll see how he does. <laughs> All right, we should give him a name. First, chat. Let me know. Give me a name for our fellow AI individual over here. Not fellow AI, but our friendly AI individual that seems to be blocked by an object for some reason. Yeah, I was the object. Oh. <laughs> for some reason, Corsplay doesn't mind running you over. 
No, nah, course play. That's what I, that's what I like about course play. Course play is just no remorse. If you're in the way, you're in the way. You're getting you're getting you're getting smoked. Yeah. <laughs> All uh, right, chat doesn't have an uh, AI suggestion. Don't be shy. Come on now. Any name. It could be Frank, Alfred, Scott, David, Tennis. You can name somebody Tennis if you really wanted it to. We can name a pickup if you really wanted me to. It's got to be a majority vote. Uh, I think three passes is enough, don't you think? Else. Or should we do four? Oh, three. Yeah, you can smaller. I mean, it's only an eight row ahead, so... I mean, it's, it's not like we're attacking and doing anything for the end of the world, you know? It's just, it's just a... Just an eight row head. Fact, it's... I'm on the as long op. As you do the end edges, uh, on, on the hop side, there's no big deal. As long as you do the end. Uh... I'm just trying to get the short side cleared up. How fast was what that comp? You on? How, what? Uh, he's running six miles an hour now. The combine is? Yep. So it must be just the beans, baby. Just the beans. Yeah, yeah. I, I've looked at I've looked the spec of the heads, and uh, it was like four miles an hour. That's stupid. All right. Well, so the bean head goes four. The corn head goes six. My corn head goes six. It's a perfect world now. It's uh, it's equality for everybody, and all corn heads were created equal under the power of CNH Industries and John Deere. It's just how it was made. I think we also need to get like. Yeah, I think we need to get a power washer. I think that's what we need to invest into next. Uh, yeah, definitely. Because this thing is getting dirty. Let me know when you're at uh, 70 AV because I'm just parking the other green cart now. I'm at 70, but you're going to have to wait until I get down and back. Because uh, uh, because of the extreme length of this log, uh, this auger, not logger, the auger, you will not be able to uh, get underneath my auger at all. Zero, none, zilch. Because, I'll just head to your side of the field, that's it. Because of the extreme personality of it. Yeah. Yeah, we sold some pickup trucks. There were like three or four in the front yard there, and they're not there anymore. So. I'm pretty sure there was like five in total. Sold like two of them. Then I don't know what happened to freaking the one the one guy, but the 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 kid that wanted the hog farm so bad. I don't know what happened to him. He just like disappeared, fell off the face of the earth. He wanted a hog farm so bad. All right, well I'm ready to get unloaded on. I suppose I'm about eighty percent now. Yep. We. I'm on my way. I'm on my way. Uh, I guess I don't... Oh, you know what I forgot to do? Got to load up with fuel, man. We need fuel. Oh, I have to check that other combine for that, too. Because he's going to run it out. And AI is not good about saying a warning like, Hey, I'm low on fuel. It's just like, oh, I ran out of fuel. It's over. I give up. Yeah. And it's going to say suddenly stop for no apparent reason. Yep. That's how AI works. It's great. The greatest thing ever. Totally. 100%. Guys, make sure you guys are smashing that like button. We are a quarter of the way to our goal of 50. So we need to get up there fast. Lightning speed. Like, uh, like your 5G internet lightning speed. 
with download speeds of at least one gig per second. Uh, I need you. I, I need you to scoot off to the left just a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. You're doing it. You're doing great. But that Harvest Commander Kenzie, what a beautiful cart. Look at that whole beautiful setup, man. That's just beautiful. All right, I'm out. Okay. I'm gonna do a down and back, and then I'm gonna hope to somebody that. We at least have some fuel somewhere, and hopefully the other one don't run out of fuel. Yeah, so give me, uh, I have to hop off one, like, two minutes, and I'll bring back the fuel. All right. Do you mostly stream on Twitch, or do you post on YouTube a lot? No, it's all on YouTube. I just talk as I'm recording. Why not make it live on Twitch? But it doesn't seem like nobody sees it unless you do some kind of social media event or yeah i don't know how twitch works man i've i've uh never streamed on never streamed on twitch before <laughs> me neither i just try and uh, i'll see okay i'll hop, I'll hop up a minute uh, i won't hear you so i'll be back in a minute all right chad it's just me and you now what's up guys how we doing it's your friendly neighborhood Agricultural guy, Midwest Ag. Thought you, thought you, you thought I was about to say your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man, didn't you? No. It's a friendly neighborhood agriculture guy right now. Make sure you guys leave likes on the live. Uh, let me know what your favorite tractor is. Ask what's up. Let me know how you're doing. Do you have a song request? Very great at karaoke, I swear. But we're just chugging along, getting some corn done on this very cloudy October day for no reason. Been going at it since 8 a.m. And it is now almost 10, so close to two hours, realistically. The theatrically, theoretically. Where's our fuel trailer? We had a fuel trailer, right? Fuel trailer. I don't think we have a fuel trailer anymore. Gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. JDs and Littlemen. JDs and Littlemen, welcome to the show. Okay, well I don't have I don't have a fuel trailer. That sucks. They gotta drive all the way over here and fill up with fuel. Brother. Oh, there it is. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. I knew I had one somewhere. It was just a matter of when, where, and why. Uh, okay, we're full. But just to be sure. Missing action, what? Alright. Come on, baby. We'll put it in the back of... Uh, I don't remember exactly which one is mine, but somebody in my channel made myself a, uh, me a truck. I'm assuming it's probably this one right here. That's the farmhand. Was it, was it this one? No idea. I'm assuming it's this one then. Midwest 01. That's me. Midwest 01, everybody. You decided... You decided to grab the fuel yourself. Yes. That was not fast enough. It was not. It was not fast enough. I'm not gonna lie. It took me forever to do it. I had to find it, man. It was just gone. I don't know where it decided to go to, but it was hiding from me. Um, so I put it in my uh, Harley Davidson 60. That has a blown up motor. That's cool. Yeah, I know. I thought it was this one that we sold. <laughs> I thought we'd sold the blown one. <laughs> it's alright. It still works though. It still drives. It's just got a every check engine light in the world's on on it. Oh boy. Oh boy. I almost crashed. That would have been bad. 
<laughs> I don't know. You ever wondered how far behind a life can be? Because you didn't leave the farm in the life yet. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, when you're done with that, you want to drive to the other combine on the other side before it? I, back. I have a problem, man. It's not refueling for some reason. Ah, it's the same tank as last time. Uh, Bring yours over here and... Er, you know what? Here, I'll just do this. I'm going to bring it over and I'm going to refill you. Oh, there's a ditch. There's the ditch again. All right, well, I'm going to refill you. After, okay. I, after I quit becoming the Dukes of Hazard here for a second. Just a good old boys. Never meaning no harm. All right, where you at? There he is. Other side of, other side of the field. Yeah, I'm going to empty that at the same time. You need me to jump in there? Yeah, hop in there. Let me know if it's refueling. Yeah. If it lets me in at some point. Okay. Uh, no, it doesn't seem like I have any... Uh, no. Really? There's a command for refueling R. Is it R? No, it's... Uh, no, R is... Here, hop out. Uh, Let's see if I can make some yeah, sense of it. Thing. Yeah. Huh. It's not working. Weird. Yeah, it's really that tank of fuel. I'm, I'm pretty <laughs> sure about that. Yeah, it must be. Alright, well, I'm gonna go refill this thing real quick. This one ain't that bad. That John Deere is low, low, like, really low. If you want to grab that real quick and bring it over. I was pretty sure we got another thing, but... I thought we did too, but apparently we didn't. We weren't prepared for it enough. Oh yeah, there we go. Now we're refueling. Yeah, it's just that tank for some reason. It's probably not a multi... We a compatible with multiplayer, that's probably what it is. We do have one at the farm, right? Yeah, we got one here. It's uh, sitting in front of the uh, the Quonset. Yeah, I think that's the one we bought last time. I just ran into the tractor, so I gotta fix that now. Whoopsie. Power fixed. Goodness. I'm pushing C's all over the place. C's? Seeds. Seeds. <laughs> oh. Are you back at the farm now? Oh, yeah, you are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, I'm just going to unload some corn in the back of this uh, truck. Yeah, and... I'll meet you there so you can take your combine back and I'll empty that grain cart. Is the grain cart full? Yeah, it will be with that. I oh, yeah, 100% it will be. Better get the other grain cart out here and get that thing all ready. Oh, here at the farm. Kyle, Kyle, it's about time you asked a question, buddy. Uh, this is Missouri River Bottoms by River Bottom Customs. Uh, I should have put a link in the description, hundred percent. Now that I think about it, but the great map, ten out of ten, recommend. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to Midwest Ag. <laughs> um, but no, nah, it's uh, it's a good map. I enjoy playing on it. I mean. There you go. You can have your combine. Been on this map just for the dedicated server. Doing some. Uh, stream work. All sorts of stuff is basically what I do here. Alright. This combine's going now. Yeah, that truck. Well, not, it's not even the truck. It's just the freaking tank on there. It's just a pile of junk. I don't know who let it cook. But it needs to stop cooking. Whoever let the tank cook, it needs to stop cooking. Thanks, Kyle. 
I didn't get a notification about it. That's why I'm sorry, man. Usually when I'm on the live and somebody subscribes, it usually goes underneath the part thing that says recent follower, even though it should so it go it should go underneath the part that says recent subscriber. I don't I don't know what the heck the heck's going on there. And usually it sends up a really really scary and not an animation but like a, a banner that shoots up and then scares me because I at least expect it. All right, so we're at 17% here. How many fields do you want to get done, Max? As much as you want. Uh, I'm not feeling like doing every field. I'm not going to lie. That would take that would take forever. <laughs> it would. It would. We did it once. It took four and a half hours. <laughs> yeah, I think I think we'll be good as long as we get like 30 and 17 done. We already did beans, though, so, I mean, I guess we're only doing two fields. I don't know. It's up to you, man. You want to do 17 after we get this okay. one done? I can do one side of the road, yeah. So I need to I need to think about what I'm going to do for food, and, you know, it's getting pretty hungry. It's getting, it's getting about lunchtime for me. And, you know, I ordered that Taco Bell. It's on its way, so if I jump out and you don't hear me, that's where I am. Getting the Taco Bell at the door. Taco Bell. <laughs> live, live, I moss. As if my heart, as <laughs> if my heart can hold it. Uh, live, live, moss, man, live, moss. So I'm kind of, kind of upset, man. That Austin Johnson guy asked me what my favorite pickup was, and then I asked him what his was. And he never, he never answered me back. That's that's tragic. I guess he didn't like your answer. No, he found out I was a Ford guy, and then he was just like, nope, I'm not dealing with it. I'm out. I'm, I'm out. See you. Peace. <laughs> oh, yeah, for everybody in the live, this is a public map. It's not private. It's on Missouri River Bottoms, or it's on uh, River Bottom Customs Itch. If you guys go check them out, I think there is a link in my Discord. If you guys want to go search through there? I'm pretty sure it's in mods. So underneath, underneath Farm Simulator, underneath mods, you'll see a list of mods that I share from people that send them to me or people I get them from, and then I usually share them in there. A lot of good mods in there. I know I'm pretty sure this mod or the map is in there. There's also some like good tractors. Heck yeah, it is. Of course it's a good farm truck. It's actually a good truck all the way around. This man, this, this guy knows what's up. He knows what's up. He knows that Ford is better than Chevy. Chevy is just a, just a pavement princess, you know. Ford's out here doing all the work while Chevy's getting the credit. That's how it goes. The people that do all the work never get appreciated. And that's why people quit their jobs. Finally got that thing unloading. That's one thing. We're doing our first grain cart. Yeah, but it won't keep unloading. It stops unloading all the time. I don't know why. It's it's up it's it's unloading in the silo, but it stops. Like the auger is not fast enough, and it stops. The truck stops unloading. Oh yeah, the the auger is definitely not fast enough. F one fifty Lightning. Oh no. <laughs> no. Yeah, I'm out for two minutes to get my lunch. I'll be back. Ah, uh, it's all good. Leah, an F one fifty Lightning. No, no. <laughs> Heck no. But for like driving, I prefer a Chevy. A Chevy. Come on now. The interior, like, there's nothing, there's no different. There's, it's just the name. At this point, you're just driving it for the name. There's no difference between it and a Ford, other than the name and the shape. Actually, generally, the shape's about the same time. That's a fake Ford. It's an imitation. It's, it was never meant to exist. It happened by accident. I thought I was about full. I was like, dang, what? 
Dude, what you got to do is you got to have like a bunch of Ford Power Strokes out there as your entire fleet of work trucks. Then you have nothing to worry about. I 100% guarantee you. They're easy to work on. And uh, yeah. And the person that happens to be uh, in my recent follower, Ryland Beckett. I don't know who that guy is. <laughs> Was it Chevy? Ha Chevy has a. Uh, they have an electric vehicle, right? I'm pretty sure Chevy has an electric vehicle out. Mis like, correct me if I'm wrong on that, but I'm 100% sure they got one out. Because they're changing. Because uh, cause Dodge is changing the freaking. The Challenger to a electric vehicle. Like, everything. I don't know why and who's right mind. They thought, oh yeah, let's turn everything electric. Let's let's do this. That'd be a great idea. <laughs> Somewhere out there, there's somebody who's like, you know, these companies are really saving the planet. One car at a time. Meanwhile, we got Taylor Swift taking flights halfway across the country just because she thought, you know what? I want a New York style pizza today. Hmm. Yeah, I'd be ashamed to have an I'd I'd be ashamed to have an electric truck too. I wouldn't tell anybody about it. In fact, I would buy an electric truck just to put an engine in it. That's how that's how much I would despise having an electric truck or pickup, whatever you want to call it. Ugh, corn. Corn baby. What? Yeah, and hey, make sure you guys leave a like on the live if you haven't already. If you have, I mean, uh, you guys are part of the greats. You guys are the OG supporters that really care about the channel, the growth. Getting me from level 1 to level 100 as soon as possible. Oh man, I'm have a stupid idiot row. Oh man, I'm I'm really screwing up here. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, guys. And you see Kern. Kern is amazing. Remember I was playing Fortnite and this is gonna sound cringy as heck, but I was playing Fortnite and I did not know they had corn in Fortnite. And I seen some corn, I was like, Whoa, it's corn And then I felt like that little uh meme with the little kid. He's like, It's corn. It's a big lump with knobs. It's got the juice, you know. I felt like that little kid. They're like Five seconds. They all, when they have meetings, they all come in private. Yeah, yeah. If I had a private jet, I mean, I would take advantage of it, too. You'd be like, you know, to skip airport travel, to skip, like, road travel, to skip any of that stuff. I'd be like, you know what? Private jet. I'm going to private jet this. Even though it's not the right thing to do, I'm going to private jet it anyway. But good thing I don't have a private jet. I have nothing to worry about. So the environment doesn't either. I'm just tired of them blaming cow farts on the problem. I think it's an ex like a poor excuse. Cows don't even fart that much. <laughs> Alright. See how long it takes for Max to get back. Because I need to get unloaded. I'm at 84%, as you guys can see down in there in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen. 85% now, making my way back. Giving myself the perfect eight rows ever when harvesting corn. This is, this is in fact, just beautiful. And then for some reason, I'm getting terrible yield through here, so that's just 
great. I don't get it. Like, the yield is just, just sucks for some reason. I don't know why. I am back ha! with not my lunch. Ah, dang. Well, chat, I guess I was right. He was going to come back, but I, I thought he was going to have his lunch. Listen, DoorDash sent me an alert saying, hey. And I thought, yeah, lunch is here, so I run downstairs. <laughs> they were just picking it up from the store. Dang. It's all right, man. I'm ready to get unloaded, man. Yeah, uh, I'm going to get the second grain card because <laughs> I'm uh, going to take the whole night to unload this one. So. It's all good. It's all good in the hood. Hood sizzle. I'm at 92%. So so. Yeah, I'm, I'm right there. I'm just going to chill here, 92%. Maybe I could drive really slow, you know, like really, 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 really slow. So that way we can get some unload right. on the go. Why don't you, you put it in the ditch again? I could. <laughs> Let me set my speed so I can follow you. All right, I'm going six. Okay. Yeah, but I'm in kilometers, so I have no clue. It's ten, so... All right, I'm going. Yes. T I'm going t ten and a half kilometers an hour. Yeah, it's the and a half. That's hard to set. And here we go. All right, guys, I'm loading on the go. Corn harvest 2028, baby. Kidding. 2024. This is foreseeing the future. Terrible yields. Prop prices are going terrible. You know, it's just how the cookie crumbles. You know. This is a very beautiful view. The 7R with the Kinsey. Of course, with the greatest combine to ever exist. The Case 2388 back there in the background, of course. Don't let anybody ever tell you a Case is not a great great combine. They, they, they spill less corn out the back end. It's obviously a greater combine. Oh my gosh, I'm missing corn. Man, who cut who cut yeah, over you're here? You're missing corn, and I'm not unloading you anymore. <laughs> we have to stop looking at other stuff. It's all right. It's all right. I'm I'm empty anyway, so you're good. You can go unload the other guy. Okay. Yeah. I was completely sidetracked. I was paying attention to other things, and then it didn't it didn't do so well. I was pulling up my stat screen from OBS, and I have 35 gigabytes of recording already. Dang. How much? I, I put it in a variable bit rate there, and it's 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 going through the roof. I'm, I have like 53,000 megabytes or something like that. How much storage do you of have? Uh, I think I have 80 something gigabytes left, and I'm down at 30, but then it's storing some from Twitch, I think. Oh. Yeah, mine mine is just straight streaming, so mine's not even recording. It's just streaming. So I don't have to record yeah, it. That's what I was wondering. It it doesn't you, it doesn't record local when you you do a live on YouTube, right? It no. records it right to YouTube. <laughs> yep, which is nice. So that way I don't have to deal with the pain and suffering and of having 110 gigabytes of video that I don't have 110 gigabytes of storage for. You don't get to have your 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 GPU card running like twice because that's basically what it is when you stream and record at the same time. So. Yep. No, it's all going good. Good in the hood. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and try and have this unloaded there. <laughs> all right. So the time back in the states is 9:24 p.m. and we have our faithful viewers of the night. The Nighthawks, watching me cut corn, pick corn, harvest corn, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, it's 1024 here, yeah, in Florida. Florida. The Everglades. Yeah. The Everglades. Yeah, right beside it, actually. I'm in Weston, right beside the Everglades. That's awesome. 
Rumor has it that you can find the crocodile hunter's reincarnated spirit out there. <laughs> He's out there wandering, okay, wandering the Everglades looking for his next beast. That's not what I want to do. Norway. Holy smokes, man. Got a viewer from Norway. That's crazy. How's the weather, man? Is it cold? From Like, whenever I hear Norway, I just think it's got to be cold. In fact, I think of ice. In fact, I think of you guys making ice sculptures in Norway when I think of Norway. I don't know why. What comes to mind? I also hope that every single one of you guys that are viewing right now stay tuned for a new video coming out on the uh, Grandpa's Inherited Farm. Uh, or not Grandpa's Inherited Farm, my bad. Correct, I'm going to correct myself. On the Hay Series, a lot of big news. Have you guys seen the post that I put out? Uh, some interesting things are going to be happening with the Hay series. Uh, whether or not you like it, like the things that are happening or not. Uh, but things are going well with that. Uh, also thinking about starting a new series. Going to try to do some collaborations with some other YouTubers like The Herd. And maybe get some, maybe try to talk with uh, Chestnut Farms. Some of those guys. Do get them in on some videos. I'm gonna think about starting a new series in the uh, Nebraska map, the um, Green Valley, Nebraska map. It's kind of like the plan of that time. Okay, uh, now my lunch is here for real. I'll be back in a minute. Rain and four degrees. Like four degrees Celsius? That still seems pretty cold. Uh, that's like 30. That'd be like 38 degrees Fahrenheit. Pretty sure. Yeah, because four or zero degrees Celsius. Yeah, zero degrees is 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah. The so four degrees Celsius is like 38, 39 degrees Fahrenheit. Pretty sure. Yeah. Snow's almost gone. It's raining. It's gonna be a cold rain. All right, we're filling up with current. We're almost at fifty percent. Once we reach the window, we're there. I just got to keep driving straight because I want to accidentally grab something over here that I don't want to grab. All right, for new guys coming in here, watching the live stream here on YouTube, be sure to go check me out on the Discord that I'm pretty sure is in the description of this video, as well as check out my, uh, check out my TikTok as well. Uh, it's been... You know, slow, slow growth on the TikTok, trying to get enough followers, trying to go live on TikTok, trying to post some more videos, see how things go with that. Uh, right now, uh, with the way my work schedule is going, I'm getting about one video per week, which I know is kind of not what I had in store, what I had in mind for right now. But eventually we're going to get back. We're going to get back into how things were before. So have no worries. Uh, we're going to get back into posting probably about two videos a week, especially now that I'm going to get some help from some other people, and everything should be working out pretty, pretty good.
And if you guys haven't already, be sure to subscribe to Midwest Ag. You know, of course, I ain't the greatest agricultural YouTube channel out there. Yeah, 39 Fahrenheit. I ain't the greatest YouTube channel out there, but I am slow and growing, and I do appreciate every single one of you that support me along the way. It's been a heck of a long journey, and it's been it's been well worth it. 39 degrees Fahrenheit. That was a very lucky guess of mine to say 38 degrees, so I'm, I feel like I'm doing pretty good for myself there. Okay, here I am. The man, the myth, the legend, Max, is now back after getting his Taco Bell. Yeah, finally. What'd you get? Get a bean burrito? What? Well, yeah, it was like a combo of I don't know what. Hmm. I think it was a quesadilla and a bean and... I don't know. Interesting. My favorite thing to get is the, uh, the crunch wrap. And then the uh, cheesy cheese roll up, I think. Yeah, two cheesy roll ups and a crunch wrap. Oh, is that crunch wrap? Is it the like the thing that they? It's flat like a pizza there. Yeah, it's 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 flat like a pizza, and then they like fold it over, roll it up, and yeah, it looks alright. Yeah, I mean, it's. Yeah. I've seen that. I'm about seventy percent, man. Yeah, if you... I'm unloading the other one right now, and I'm pulling over. All right, we should have put a bigger grain tank on him, so that way you wouldn't have to unload him as much. Well, he's not full, but I was thinking, well, um, he was nearby. So. Um, yeah, I've been doing YouTube for a little while. It's been uh, about six months, I would say, that I've been doing YouTube. If I remember right off the top of my head, it's about six months been a really slow process i'm not gonna lie but i do appreciate the support from everyone that has subscribed to me along the way and everyone that likes to come through and just simply just play the game because i'm not in here to get the best yield and all this fancy stuff i'm just here to play the game doing all that extra work can be a headache Dude, I kind of want to make a fuel trailer mod now. How cool would it be make to make one that works? What's up? Make one that works. Yeah, I know, but how how cool <laughs> would it be like to make like a really accurate fuel trailer mod? Because there's like there's like only a limited number of fuel trailers out there, and like some of them don't even look good. And I feel like making a fuel trailer mod would be really easy because I could just like really put piece it together and be okay. Um, I like to, I like to try to stream at least once a week, but recently I haven't streamed in two weeks. So this is my first stream. Yeah. That's my first stream in like two weeks, two, no, three weeks, three weeks. Cause I haven't streamed the last two weeks. Yeah, that's the first stream in three weeks. Uh, but normally I like to try to stream once a week, generally on Saturday. So whatever day it is now for everybody, I like to try to stream. Yeah, uh, what's up, Ty? Yeah, that's right, Ty. What's up, Ty? <clears throat> I'm ready to unload whenever you get over here. Yeah, I'm right here. Right behind you. Oh, I didn't even see you. All right, cool. We got that worked out. All right, I got to get over some more. A little bit more, a little bit more. Why is my cruise control not coming on? You gotta go to the left. No. There you go. Why does my cruise control doesn't want to stay on? I don't know. There we go. Oh, we're doing great.
There we go. Get some unloading to go. I'm down to 50% already. How much you got in that grain cart? You about full or what? No, no, I'm empty. Oh, you're straight uh, straight empty. Oh, yeah. okay. I'm completely empty, yeah. Huh. Interesting. I wonder how many bushels we've done so far. I think we're probably close to about a thousand, you think? We're over that because I dropped two grain carts and they're uh, over a thousand each. Oh, you've already done two grain carts? I didn't know you did two grain carts already. Yeah. I thought that was like our first one. Yeah, I, I just dropped the second one before I unloaded you. <clears throat> Interesting. Do, 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 do. Hey, Nate, how's it going, buddy? Uh, yes, yeah, I like to generally try to stream around the same time. It's kind of how things go. I mean, sometimes it's like 6 p.m. Central Time. Sometimes it's like, oh, I couldn't tell you, like 8 p.m. Central Time. It just depends on what time I wake up in the morning because it's like kind of hard for me to get up. I had to get a lot of reminders this morning because... I, I, I can't miss out on this stream because I told Max that we were going to do it. So I had to <laughs> I had to get all those uh, all them reminders. Uh, the map is Missouri River Bottoms by River Bottom Customs. Uh, if you guys check out the Discord, um, I do have a link for the map in my Discord as well. I'm pretty sure you can also probably look on other videos, other live streams, and you probably find a link for this map as well. Um, but I do highly recommend go check it out, play on it a little bit. It is really fun. Uh, basically, if you like the Midwest experience of working on a flat, really, really, really flat land, I mean, this, this, this is as good as it's going to get. Um, yeah, everything's going good, Nate, over here. You know, just... Living life right now. It's uh, 11.37 a.m. over here, and I know it's getting late for everybody back in the States, but we're just going to keep on plugging away, getting as much corn as we can done as possible until eventually that I get to, I don't know how, what hour mark on the stream, but it's either we get to the hour mark or I reach the exact like limit I want to get to. I actually think, uh, I'm trying to think here, man. Nah, I'm, I'm having a brain fart now. I can't even think. <laughs> Whatever happened to Blake? He hasn't come back with a milk. He hasn't, he hasn't come back with the no. milk, milk yet, man. I'm kind of worried. <laughs> I think he quit on us. Nah, it's all good. He'll, he'll be here later time. I'll hit him up later. On the road again. I just can't wait to get on the road again. I probably can unload you on the other side, right? Uh, I mean, you trying to unload? I mean, yeah, you yeah, you most definitely can. We could definitely we could definitely jump these three rows. <laughs> You have to get over just a little bit, but I mean, I was only at like 30%, but you're good. All right, chat. Hey, make sure you guys go subscribe to uh, Fearsome Rhino, Bowie Nate there. Uh, if you guys don't know him, he works with the squad. He works over there with those guys, and he's been making videos for a long time. Love his channel. I really love his content. It really, really makes me laugh a lot. A lot of things this he does some pretty cool stuff go check him out him i think yosho 
Brody Farms, Williams Farms, and Chestnut Farms as well. They they all collab together and they make some pretty interesting content. Oh my gosh. I got these three idiot rows right now, so this is my fault for doing this. I 100% take the blame for it. I don't know how it ever. I don't know how it came. I don't know how it came to be, but it was 100% my fault because there's no way it could have been anybody else's fault. <laughs> I wish it was more daylight out. This, these clouds are making like everything look dreary and drab. Like really, really dreary. Interesting. I think we'll be able to get this field done here in probably the next like 10 minutes, honestly. Yeah, our worker didn't have any problem either. I know, I'm kind of surprised AI did not have any issues. He did, I mean, he did get full a couple times, but that was, that was, that was about it. But I, <laughs> nah, it's all right. I'm still surprised the AI was actually able to do something. That was actually pretty good. What the heck was that? Something just flew across my screen. I have no idea what it was. All right, I got to find a good spot where to open this field up so that I don't mess up the AI without also getting stuck in the ditch, too. Holy crap. All right, I think right here is going to be the best spot. Puts it about somewhat in the middle of what's left. Leaving the AI with about 50% of the work and me with about 60% of the work. Because you know, if you don't give it 110%, why'd you even try? I'm going to get philosophical. <laughs> you miss 100% of the, ch the shots you don't take. Never back down, never what. Never give up. You know, something like that, yeah. Yeah. It's always something like that. Never back down. Never what? Ever give up? We give one hundred and ten percent, but our yield doesn't give one hundred and ten percent. Yeah, that's true. What is that? I don't know. I'm not running a combine, so I don't see it. All right, so basically from our yields here, so it's just the field, man. I'm just going to tell you it's the field. Like, we did, we did nothing wrong. We did everything we could have. Like, our yield, our expected yield is 87% out of an 89% yield potential. I mean, there's there's nothing that we could have done differently. We did everything perfect. Well, we done everything aside from spraying. That's it. Yeah. yeah, we forgot to spray for weeds, and that probably is... That's probably the extra 2% yield potential that we could have got. I agree 100%. Could have changed the whole entire world with that, that extra 2%. That extra 2% could have been what, like, cured... Polio disease or something. Two percent, and we're gonna have like what? Four thousand bushels. So. Out of just this field. Been like. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Isn't I'm it... I'm I'm full again. It's always gonna be my third card there. Dang, we're gonna have four thousand bushels out of just this field. That's insane. That is downright preposterous. We got three from. We got 3,000 from the whole thing the last time, so. That's pretty good. 
So we we increased a thousand bushels. That's not bad. No, oh, we increased way more than that. So we, we got three thousand out of all the the corn fields last time. Are you sure? Because I'm pretty sure we filled up. You know what? Never mind. I'm pretty sure we filled up the grain, uh, one of the grain bins, and then we had to dump a little bit in the extra. Because I'm pretty sure they're like six thousand bushel grain bins or three. Th no, maybe the three thousand bushel grain bins. You might be right. It might be 7,000 bushels. Yeah, I mean, if we're already going to get four out of this field and we still have one, two, three other fields left, I think we'll be... I think we'll be golden, man. Like, there's no doubt in my mind. All right, chat, everyone watching. If you haven't already, be sure to smash that like button on the live, guys. Got a, got a lot of lot to do. We need to reach our goals, gentlemen. And if anybody could uh, could provide advice on how to put a pole inside of here. Well, I can tell you we are one bin full. We got one bin full? Yeah. So, so it is 3,000 bushels then, huh? I would assume it is, yes. Okay. So, yeah, we did, we did not get... We did get something like a bit more than 3,000 bushel last last time, sorry. Yeah, that would make sense. Because, I mean, we went from having red yield to having yellow yield. So, I mean, I mean, yeah. <laughs> I mean, we weren't getting, we were not getting good yield at all the last time, 100%. It was just terrible. So I had to fix my steering wheel because I let AI drive and I don't like it sticking up like that. It just annoys me. But, uh, yeah, Farm Master, I really appreciate you being here since the beginning, that you've been sticking through. Original, original man right there. A man of character and a man of complete silence for the whole entire, for the whole entire life. <laughs> should start playing a game, like, instead of playing Where's Waldo, we should play Where's Blake. Malake. <laughs> the man that went to go get the milk and never came back. I don't like I that. Heard that guy. Why can't I drive? Is it like not drivable? That uh, auger? What do you mean? Well, normally you can drive them so you can place them. But... What are you talking about? The auger? <laughs> yeah. Well, you got to unhook, unhook the auger in order to drive it. Yeah, yeah, I unhooked it, but it doesn't seem like I can drive it. It does not seem like you can drive it. That's weird. Maybe you can't drive this one. I know a way to drive it. That's insane. I don't know. I don't understand. We also do have... Hey, got one... I got one way to drive it. There, that's, that's one way to do it. It's called the easy way. Why won't it move? The easy way? Yeah. It's the hard way. And we got, got a full cart, full truck. Oh, well, half full truck, I guess. We got corn spilled outside the bin. What the heck? How did that happen? And this is really hyper ultra realistic, man. We got corn spilled outside. That's a, that's insane. Well, I guess I'm. A somewhat lined up because it's <laughs> unloading is it want to want to jump on top of that to see uh, how it is uh push it back just a little bit more and then go to your uh swing it to your right just a little bit 
A little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. All right, bring it straight back. Now bring it to the left a little bit. You went too before. You do you, you now. You screwed it up. Take it to your left. Take it to your left. Stop. Right there. Beautiful. I Very good. I love it. Let's let's dock a tractor to that and unload everything. All right. I'm gonna grab. I'm gonna hop in the truck and spin the truck around. If you wanna. Move. No, I'll place the thing so you can. So you can drive by. Thanks, Farm Master. I really appreciate that. Hope everyone else enjoys the content I post too. Put a lot of uh, enjoyment into it as much as I can, anyway, without becoming emotionally damaged from it. But it's okay. All right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull forward, and then I'm going. Oh, you know what? Never mind. Hold on. Stop. Pause. I can't. We can't have everything get unloaded on the tarp side, so we gotta retry. We gotta run over our seed too, cause screw our seed. Hold on, I ran into the I ran into the grain bin. Okay, you can back up now. <laughs> it's alright. I ran into the grain bin, so that's why. Alright. Okay, I think you should be good here. So give me a second. I'll try lighting that up. Hold on, I was lined up. Go back. All right, you're good. We're lined up. There we go. We did it. Very good. Why is it not unloading? So this will. Nah, you have to open it and close it. I'll, I'll open it. Because it says it's full. But who checks those grain bins? Got 414 bushels in it. What are you talking about? Oh, I get. Maybe we move when I hooked up. We probably moved the auger out of the way. Hey, I have Would a jump on top of it and place it a bit. I have a I have a sincere question. If you come over here and look at this grain bin, how uh, how uh, how much corn does it tell you that's in it? I I can't see that. I don't know why. Because I, I think uh, what hap I think what happened it is all it's empty. I think all the corn went down on the ground, so we just missed out on all that corn. Where is it? Under the uh, the silo? Yeah, it's under the silo. Oh. And how how did under the silo get full? I don't know. Ground piles probably. So that's unloading, right? Not that's unloading. That's going in the silo. Should be going in the silo. I don't know why it's not. Well, in, yeah. Let me unload in, into the auger. You'll see if it's going in. It's going in. It's it's dropping. That's for sure. Let me check on something while it's unloading. Yeah, it's not moving. It says zero point four bushel. It's not moving. So we're unloading somewhere. That is not the silo. This is interesting. And we're still unloading. I don't think we're unloading because it's not really doing anything. Because it's not going down or anything anywhere. Hold on, close the uh, close the tarp or the traps on the semi real quick. Yep. Then. I don't know what the heck happened. This is just, this is really going downhill now. You shut the. Do you stop unloading the semi? Yep. Why the heck is it still trying to unload this? Makes no sense. Oh, uh, I think uh, it either went on the ground or went in the uh, into the grain bin. So let me check. No, it definitely did not go into the grain bin. This is weird, man. This is really, really weird. I don't know what's going on. What's up, Lee Green? How we doing? Uh, can you open the lid again?
Or no. Are you not opening the lid? The lid. Did you close the lid? No, I didn't go on top of that. I don't even know how you reached there. So the gate wasn't open? What the heck was that? So it showed the gate was open, but the gate wasn't open? That, that makes no sense. Lee Green, Joshua, what's up, man? Alright, let me know when you're able to unload this now. Yeah, yeah you're, you're, you're good, you're good. Alright, is it going in the grain bin now? It is not going in the grain bin, what the heck? What the freak, guys? Is it even unload? That is one strange thing. Because now the door is closed. It's the door open. The door is open, but I'm not emptying anything. And the auger is not emptying anything either. Alright, I have an idea. Let's do the, uh... Let's do the bins across from the house. Across from the house, so that's on the other side. Okay, we'll try that. I'll pull the truck there. This is just, this is just confusing, man. Because we we enter or we emptied three thousand bushels of corn on the ground underneath that bin. So I guarantee you, if I sell that bin, there's a pile of three thousand bushels of corn just chilling there. Well, I guess that's what we'll have to do at some point. Yeah. We'll never get it back. It's free storage at this point. It's like a ground pile. Look at me taking all the corn out. I don't know why it didn't want to work. It just makes no sense because it worked before, right? Well, it worked perfectly last time. All right, Joshua. Thanks for me being too dumb to line it up. Check you. Uh, see you later, man. Have a great night. I, I honestly, I really, I'm so confused on this as well. Like, I have no idea. You want to open the lid? Should be open now. All right, it is. It's open. We've never used these grain bins before. Or these ones, anyway. The ones on the farm site we have. It makes no sense that they're not working now. I'll be close enough to you, I don't think so. Ah, oh, you should just be able to back up, man. So pull forward, back up, and then straighten yourself out. Yeah, that's what I'll do. It's going to be what, I, what you're going to have to do, man. It's all good. Here, I'm going to hop out. I'm going to BRB. You can try to figure this out real quick.
Well, I guess we got that fixed. That's one thing. There was a bow. Does it seem to work? It? I think it is. Interesting. I have no clue how I made it work. Yeah, it's working. Huh. Uh, basically, I stopped unloading the auger. And once I stopped it, it wouldn't let me stop it. There was no way I could stop it. Even if I press stop, it wouldn't work. So, But it ended up unloading. So at the good place. Huh. Well, at least it's working. Now we're putting corn in, so we uh, we managed to dump a whole field of corn on the ground, and now we finally have corn into a grain bin now. Yeah, maybe you want to sell that. Uh, I don't know, how could we pick that up? I have no clue. With, with uh, oh, you know what, here, let's, so, the, so just to make sure, so that everyone here in chat and the live sees that this uh, grain bin has no corn in it, Right, but it has like, see, it says this silo is empty, but this is the one that we were storing into. We dumped over three grain carts in there, so I'm gonna sell it real quick. Boom, boom, ba, boom, bow. Ah, here's our corn. <laughs> There's our How three. How can we pick that up? Uh, you aren't gonna like my answer for that, but uh, we'll 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 do that later. We're this is our ground pile, everybody. Um. So this is a thing that some farmers in the Midwest do when they don't have any storage. They get a ground pile and then they generally put a tarp over it and then blow some ventilation into it. But uh, So that's what we're going to be doing. AI down here is full. Um, I'm going to hop, hop, in, hop in my combine because <laughs> it's just been chilling here running with no corn going in it. We are almost done with this entire... Oh, that sounded terrible. We are almost done with this entire field. I don't know why I went... We, uh -oh. Sound like a robot. We're almost done with this entire field. Got about a little bit of time left. Uh, we've been going for two and a half hours now on the live. We have not yet reached our goal for likes, sadly. So we're going to keep on going. But if you guys do appreciate this content, make sure you guys do smash that like button, guys. So that way we can get more support. I do appreciate making this farm sim content for you guys. I do appreciate putting it out there. Getting all the response from you guys. I do enjoy it. It's a very fun, good time. I also enjoy meeting new people. Because if it wasn't for Farm Sim, I wouldn't have met cool people like Nate. I wouldn't have met cool people like Max. I wouldn't have met cool people like The Herd. I wouldn't have met Josh. I wouldn't have met Sean. I wouldn't have met Blake. Even though he never came back with the freaking milk. Blake. Yeah. It's going to be black talk because of him. Oh, goodness. <clears throat> I haven't even had my coffee yet this morning. This is terrible. Tragic. It's about dinner, or it's about lunchtime for me, so I'm going to probably get myself some food ordered. Or maybe just thug it out for the rest of the day. We'll see what happens. You need to be unloaded there? No, nah, I'm good. I'm only. Uh, you can get me when you can get me when I turn around, because I'll be a, over seventy percent. Or you can just wait until I do another down back, and then I'll probably be at eighty. Does that mean I'll have five minutes to eat my Taco Bell? <laughs> five minutes. You can eat. You could eat your Taco Bells. You, crap. You could take like a fifteen minute break if you wanted to. Another view from our sponsor. 
This video is brought to you in part by G Portal. You guys love G Portal. I am working on doing my partnership with G Portal right now to get everybody that likes to or that wants to use G Portal for their dedicated servers a 10% off on their first server. So I'm currently waiting on that. But if you guys enjoy G Portal, make sure you guys go check out G Portal. Uh, you guys go ahead and get yourself a server for it through them. I run all my ser servers. Jeez, I cannot talk. I run all my servers through G Portal. <coughs> Fuck. Uh, I run all my servers through G Portal. Um, I have this server as well as my other server that I have with the 70 series on it. As you guys know and love the 70 series is, is out there. Is probably one of my favorite and everyone else's favorite that has come across this channel. Um, I go through G Portal for that. It's uh, it's pretty easy to install or create a dedicated server through G Portal. They pretty much walk you through it, honestly. It, it doesn't get no easier than that. So, if you guys enjoy that, make sure you guys go check out G Portal. Um, also, another thing, if you guys are up to date with like farm some news or anything like that, as you guys know, um, there's been a lot of work been put into Farming Simulator and all those other things. I cannot confirm a new Farming Simulator uh, that... I can't confirm a farm sim that's going to be coming out yet, like a new one, but I know that there's a lot of talk about it, and if you guys do care enough about having a new farm sim, you guys should go check out some of like the, uh, the uh, forum posts, all that stuff. You guys can get a lot of insight on there, as well as just checking out farm sim news. You can go check out Clutch Simulations as well, post a lot about farm sim news, as well as uh, DJ Goham as well does the same things. What is G... Uh, G Portal is a is a website, right, that allows you to purchase a server to run Farm Simulator on. So you can purchase a server in countries that are provided below in the options. They'll be like Singapore, uh, East Coast, West Coast, United States. Uh, you can get one in Japan. You can pretty much get a server anywhere you want. Right, is within reason. It'll go within your like latency, so like however high your ping is, it'll recommend one to you. <clears throat> but then, um, so you purchase that server through G Portal, and it keeps it running twenty four seven. So say for instance, I get off, but then Max wants to keep playing, then he's able to keep playing. And it also makes it a lot easier because then you don't have to worry about too much lag because then it's not only depending on your your server requirements or whatever it is or wherever the heck you're at. It doesn't go off that. It just makes it wherever that server is, and it's always really nice. So, like, right now, I'm the server that I have is currently located in Los Angeles, California. I have a 100... I don't know why. It's, it's never usually this high, but it's, it's basically I'm averaging out at 100 millisecond ping. Which is not bad. So I'm doing pretty good. Kind of waiting for me now. What's up? Oh, you go ahead and drive your own green card now. Okay. Figured I'd give you enough time to go eat your Taco Bell. You know, can't can't oh, eat your Taco Bell. Understanding. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, okay. I'm just unloading, man. After I'm done unloading, we'll be pretty much done with this field, and then we can see what's up. Be over three hours in. I'm at two and a half. I didn't start it until after we like started working on the bean field. And I started it while I was downloading mods. <laughs> oh really? Oh, okay, that would make sense. That's probably why you're almost at three hours in then. I mean, technically. It's the first time it happened to me. My, I don't know why my mouse got. They got moved to the cloud. That makes no sense.
My mods got moved to the cloud, but that's only because I freaking downloaded the... Or I paid for the extra storage, and then all of a sudden all my stuff just disappeared. And I was like, well, that sucks. <laughs> yeah, but that's it. I, I do have that extra storage already, so... Yeah, I didn't have it. I was tired of, like, the the notification popping up on the screen where it's like, oh, you're out of storage, and so I was like, yeah, you know, screw this crap. I guess you gotta have to select, like, different files. I'll have to look into that tomorrow. Does anybody own Bitcoin or any stocks whatsoever? Yeah, I do have a bit. You have stocks? Damn. I have Bitcoins, actually. Oh, How yeah. did we exchange go? You have Bitcoin? How many Bitcoin? I do have uh, 33 different cryptos. Man, secretly a billionaire, guys. Don't listen to him. No, 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 not at all. Just very diversified. <laughs> <laughs> but we did quite good in the last night, yes? Yes. All right, what, is that combine got one pass left? Is that what you're thinking? Yeah. When it pulls back up, yeah, it's going to be done. Maybe a row of shame just for fun. Oh, I got a row of shame, that's for sure. I got four rows. I'm thinking, uh... I think I'm gonna go rent a... Uh, ex not an excavator, a... Uh, a bobcat. Perfect. So that way we can start picking up all that corn. What do we have in there? Wh which one of the loaders have the biggest capacity? Probably the um, the wheel loader. Probably gonna be our best bet. We'll look it up. Um, Four point fifty eight yards, five point twenty three. A five yard bucket, huh? Yeah, we have a five-yard bucket on the wheel loader. But I don't think any any of the smallest could have for that. Yeah, five-yard bucket. Yeah, that's, that, that'd that be our best buy. That's a lot of... Five-yard bucket's a pretty big bucket. This is insane. I've done like most of the field. But my rows were also like a little bit shorter. <clears throat> on the road again. I can't wait to get on the road again. I think I'm just going to tag along this guy for now. He's just gonna fall yeah, around. He's, he's, he, he, he eyeballed it. It's it's perfect. No row of shame. Interesting. Couldn't be me. Couldn't be me. I will forever and always have the row of shame. I'm going to get started on the uh, ground by the home place. I'm going to get AI going anyway, so I'm just going to set it up. <clears throat> I'm just going to do headlands, and then set up AI, and then fucking... Then I'm going to try to uh, freaking 
get a the wheel loader over so we can start like moving that corn yeah i think we can park a grain cart there and just dump it in yeah well the, we have those gravity wagons too we can just do that yeah you're right Now, this is insane. Whose idea was to plant this much corn? I really want to know. I don't know. He's, he's traveling. He's in uh, Asia right now. <laughs> Blake? You tell me Blake came up with this idea? Yeah. I think it is, yeah. That's why he never came back. Uh, it makes sense. He didn't want to be a part of it. He was like, yeah, I'll help you guys out. And then he didn't want to be a part of it. I understand why now. <laughs> nah, he, the milk was just an excuse. He's like, yeah, I'm going to go get some milk. And never came back. That makes 100% that makes sense. That's insane. He was trying to be like him for real. That's, incra that's crazy. Chestnut, what's up, man? Hey, this uh, this little guy that's in the live right now. This uh, guy I was telling all you guys about. The farm bros is back. <clears throat> Got that chap right at the last second. That was scary. About time you finally caught a live stream, man. Been catching all your guys's. So you're working on the small field there uh, in front of the house? Yeah, we're just working at the ho the home site. The the house? Yeah, okay. If you want, you could get that case started somewhere else, and we could try to get more, one, more than one field done. Otherwise, we could just try to whip this field out. And I want to try to get, <laughs> I want to try to get all that spilt corn picked up. Yeah, definitely. I'm still kind of surprised. I I under I don't really understand how that happened. That's kind of weird. It just went through. <laughs> That's it. Well, it like dumped out the bottom. Yeah, normally it just wouldn't let you unload, but it kind of. Yeah, it, make, it makes no sense, honestly, to me. Like I I was I'm confused. Like, the fact that it, like, went through the top and then dumped down on the ground makes zero sense. It also means I have to buy another auger and I earn another grain bin, too, because we just sold that thing. So we'll have to uh, kind of, like, refixuate ourselves there. <clears throat> I feel like everyone that's in here in the live right now has been people that have been here this whole entire time. So I'm just going to do a quick shout out to everyone that's been watching this for the entire time we've been doing this. I really appreciate it. I harvest and corn, you know, doing all this fun stuff, sticking along for the entire, entire journey. I really appreciate you guys. Uh, make sure you guys go check out everything, check out socials, check out everyone else, check out, Nate, check out Chestnut, check out those guys. Make sure you guys do give them subscribe. Make sure you go look in the Discord and go subscribe to Max. I mean, he's been putting in a lot of hard work on everything, so make sure you guys show him some support as well. He's been sticking with this entire... He's been on every live that we've done, except for the ones I do on American Truck Sim. Make sure you guys go show him some you support, see my too. see driving in here? I cannot be there. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> well, I was there when you tried to bypass a roadblock. 
<laughs> yeah, that was that Which was. Didn't end up very well. It didn't work out, did it? No, not much. <laughs> <laughs> No, it was insane. Like, I I remember I was trying to go through, and we were trying to go through the road, and then it just I just hit an invisible wall, and it just ended ended everything right there. Yo, what's up, Bash Thumb, and welcome back, Chestnut. You missed my shout out that I gave you. That's insane that you missed that. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to have two headlands done on this side, and you had two at the back, right? I did three, so I'm going to uh, tag right behind you once you get this one done. And then this whole field will be okay, opened so up. We... Okay, so we can start a uh, one worker on each side. Yeah, then we can get AI going, and then I can go get that wheel loader, and we can go uh, pick up that that spilt corn that Cobalt decided to drop on the ground. It was actually Blake's fault, but we're going to blame it on Cobalt. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> it's insane that I haven't used course play for this entire stream. I've just been sitting here running the combine the whole entire time. Not even using GPS. This is real old school farming. You have GPS on yours, right? Yeah, I do. But I didn't even use it. <laughs> Crazy. I'm also down half a tank of fuel, too, which is cool. I'm going to get stuck on half the ditch now. Fuel in. Oh, I think the... Um... I think the worker is refilling itself because it's almost full. You? On fuel? Yeah, I'm almost full. So I guess the, the worker was refilling itself. Oh, that's probably what happened. Yeah, we probably have that thing set to where it buys the fuel and instead. That's insane. Um, okay, I'm at yeah, Bass, this is a dedicated server. <clears throat> it is part of my, uh, my Discord or whatever. I guess I, I put together a de uh, dedicated server for everyone that subscribes to me on YouTube and as part of my uh, Discord server as well. They have full access to come in here and free range pretty much, but I just come in here and go live, make some videos. I don't, I don't know about you, but uh, <clears throat> this AI worker is at 80%, so I'm going to go grab that wheel loader. Yeah, I'm gonna go get the carts. I'm just getting mine lined up. It was a bit off. So. How many people? Uh, yeah, bag of hammers. Thank you for subscribing. That was the first time something's came up, but thank you for subscribing. Bag of hammers. That is a quite a great name right there. All right, we are going to rent this Kloss uh, wheel loader. And go pick up some corn right now. So we gotta rent it for nine thousand dollars and get ourselves a five point two three yard bucket. The high dump. We're gonna try to pick up some corn with it. I think we yeah, we can pick up corn with it. We're gonna pick up some corn with it. And pick up our uh, spillage that we have back there at the farm. We have a planter or a cedar we could put all these seeds in <laughs> maybe <laughs> just gonna pile them up all at the same place <clears throat> okay there and we could try to so green card. we could try to move all those seeds somewhere but i don't know exactly where we're gonna move them to um but yeah bass there's about 100 people in the discord um, the map, there is just me and Max right now, but it is open for anybody that also wants to join at any time. I do put an announcement usually inside the, uh, the Discord when I'm going live, so that way if anyone wants to join, they're more than happy to. I'd have no obligations to it, and I cannot pick up that 
bag of seed. That sucks. Uh, the map, the map is uh, Missouri River Bottoms by River Bottom Customs. You can go check them out. Their uh, link to the map is in my uh, Discord channel as well, underneath the mods. Did I hear Blake coming back with the milk? Blake, are you back with the milk? Or is that? Wait, is that Sean? <clears throat> this is Sean. Yeah, dude. Oh, dude, what's up, man? Did you bring milk? Who yeah. have you been talking to this whole time, man? You, are you recording? Yeah, I'm live right now on YouTube, man. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Sorry. Am I cool to be here? Yeah, you can hang out. I don't care. Right on. How's it going? How's your day? How's it going? It's good, man. It's good. I just had some coffee with a friend. Came back, chilling, just checking it out, checking out Discord and catching up. It's awesome. I uh, we have about three thousand bushels of corn on the ground right now. I got to scoop up. Sounds exciting. <laughs> we kind of we kind of dumped it through the silo instead of in the silo. Yeah, I don't know how that I don't know how that happened. <laughs> Not in the silo. <laughs> I've never seen that. So I, the collision didn't work. It it didn't, but it works on the I other grain bins. Right The other grain bin works, but this one doesn't work. I don't get it. So I got 3,000 bushels of corn that I got to scoop up with a wheel loader. You need to get a rope of mouse. A what? The the thing that picks up bulk item off the ground. It scoops it up. It's not a front loader either. Oh. It's not a it's not a it's not a bucket. It's a scooper. But it's not a bucket. It's a it's like a forage thing. Oh. It's that thing that the two wings on it, one's a counterweight, the two arms. Oh, okay, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, that thing will pick up bulk shit off the ground real fucking fast. Hey. So. Yeah, I, I just realized it right now, so. <laughs> Alright, you're good. <laughs> you're good. All right, I'm um, going to grab these gravity wagons. Um, yeah, there's a lot. There's still a, a cart in the field right in front of you, right? A cart? There is... I don't know where it's at. Somewhere. I don't know where it went. I'm going to loop these gravity wagons around, though. I got to get these filled up. Um... Sounds pretty chill. Is the do what? Is the good because of? I don't know, Pat. I don't know, Bass. That, that question was uh, confusing. But yes, it is on a uh, is on PC. If that's what your question is. Or on laptop. It's it's. It's on computer. There you go. It's on a computer. <laughs> so I have about 30 buckets I got to scoop out of here because I get 113 bushels per bucket load. Oh, this is a bad idea. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to be able to fit everything inside these gravity wagons. Yeah, I'll pull the other cart for you in, in a minute. Holy crap, this is a lot of corn, man. Yeah, that's going to be useless. I think you're going to put like two and a half buckets on each. <laughs> yeah, that's probably about what it's going to be. No, the other two lives I didn't put. I, I I didn't pull up the live on another screen, but now I can see what you're doing, and I kind of like. Oh, uh, you can see my stream now. <clears throat> yeah, I put it on my iPad on on the side. So. Oh, there you go. Now you can see what I'm doing, and. Um, sorry, the autocorrect is killing me. Da, 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 da. I mean, yeah, man. If you want to create some videos here on this on the server, it's one hundred percent okay. I don't. I it does not bother me at all. Make whatever you want, time lapse videos. You can go through and 
do some work on the field. You can do pretty much whatever. And if you let me know, I can always come in too, and we can all work together, make some videos, do some do some fun content, do some challenges, something like that. We could do like farm against farm, you know, stuff like that. <clears throat> this is a really, it's basically a, a gigantic public server as long as you have the the right cr not credentials, but the right information. More anyone's more than happy to join. I think our setup is working now. Wow. Impressive. Finally working? Yeah, it's Sam Ping and Boat. Hmm. Oh, my other green cart is full. <laughs> I don't know how much corn we're going to pull out of this, but uh, that's a lot of cart. Out of the field? Yeah, you have 3,000 there. I'm dumping two. So we're at 5,000 already. Well, we might be able to get to about 20,000 20, bushels through all our cornfields then. Yeah, it's not so that. That's going to be. Uh... Yes, it's that, that... that's going to be like almost five times what we have. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a lot more. That's, that's a lot more money. We should. Um... I got to figure out what we got to do here. So we're probably going to have to sell some corn to. Uh be able to buy another grain bin, be able to afford a different grain bin. If we could get one with the bottom uh, auger, that'd be... We could get rid of these two useless auger. Which one? The, the grain bins over here? Yeah, <clears throat> we could replace them with one with the uh, bottom auger that... Uh... We can well, drive over, you know? What we could do is just uh, sell the grain bins, build a grain bin leg. But we also have to have money for that, too. So we got to sell some corn or sell something. But a grain bin leg would really help out a lot. Mm. Uh, I almost got... What did you get back from that grain bin? 25,000? Uh, I don't remember exactly how much I got back from it. Because we have four, so it's all, I think it was 26,000, so there's almost 100,000 there if we can replace it by something more effective. Because let me look here in the construction tab. So underneath silos. Somewhere. I think I have a grand bin leg in here. There is a 50,000 bushel grain bin. There is a whatever 553 yards is the bushels. But it's not a drive over. Oh, there we go. Grain bin leg right there. There's 198,000 or 220,000 for, for a grain bin dryer. Well, we can get close to 100,000 back if we sell these four <laughs> silos. We could. <clears throat> and I'd probably pay back a little bit better and then it'd be a lot easier for storage. Yeah, get rid of those hogger and... Yeah, I think so. Uh, do you want to bring over one of those grain carts? It's already there. Oh, I didn't notice it. I was too busy looking at other things. Um. Fast. The, the map is Missouri River Bottoms by a River Bottom Customs. Where did you get that food? Uh, so, for when you download this map, there is mods that are tied to the map that you have to have that come with the uh, map. So, you know how, like, on Tahitian County, there is uh, mods that are, like, required with the game that you have to have so it's kind of like that so in order to have like everything for this game you have to have all those other mods and so they're in a mod pack for it
Alright, our gravity wagons are full now. If you want to just pull them a bit forward, I'll, I'll grab them after. <clears throat> I think we're weighed down just pretty good. Just the combine now. Got a lot of weight on this thing now. We got 731 bushels in these gravity wagons. <laughs> but there, yeah, I moved it forward. I'm just getting ready to pull the uh, grain cart up. Hopefully I can reach high enough with the bucket. If not, then I guess I'm SOL, but we should be able to. Shouldn't be that big of a deal. Um, but yeah, that's, so a lot of the mods that are with this game are ones that are like required for the game for you to be able to play. And then if you want to find like the link for all the mods that I have to be able to join the public server, it is in, <clears throat> it is in the discord underneath the dedicated server tab. Um, as long as you have the right permissions, you should be able to view it. And then you should, all you got to do is just download all the mods and you should be able to join pretty simple should be a link attached into the uh into the uh underneath the server info tab there'll be a link underneath there where you download everything and all you got to do is join the uh, passwords in there as well so it's pretty straightforward i made it really easy for everybody doesn't get much easier than that that's what's really nice about g portal is it gives you all that information all you got to do is just download the mods through the link and then you guys are good reach the uh the grain cart yeah i'm able to go inside the grain cart a little dump okay probably get this grain cart full to be honest with you i don't tip over yeah but that one at least i don't need to move the truck to empty it <laughs> yeah that's why we should just wait so we could wait with the uh gravity wagons until the end or we could probably just sell the corn in the gravity wagons and call it good a lot of corn on the ground watching hey Owen what's up man long time no see About three thousand bush ground. <laughs> it decided to go through the bottom of the grain bin. I don't know why, but it just didn't go into the grain bin. It just I just spill on the ground. So now we got to pick it all up. Blame Blake. It was his fault. He went to go get the milk and he never came back. I guess you are gonna fill that grain that. Uh grain cart because it's supposed to have close to 3,000 bushel on the ground. I don't know because I think so we got 731 inside the uh, gravity wagons and then so far I've dumped I think like 300 and some inside the grain cart so I think we should be pretty good for about a thousand. I don't think it was exactly 3,000 bushels because no, you're, you're right because the last it was three cart, and the last one was, was like three quarter full when we moved the setup. Yeah. Sounds about right. Yeah. <clears throat> no, Owen, I'm fine, man. Don't worry about it. Um, actually, how much is in, I don't know how much is in there. Yeah, there's a hundred bushels. Okay, now I'm really just confused. You really think it was, okay, never mind, there we go. I just flattened it all out. Now it makes more sense. Yeah, there's a lot more corn here. 
the piles are not making justice of their of how much bushels are in there. I think I have do 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 do. So we got 567, so we're just about at a thousand bushels so far. Or no, we're over a thousand. We're at twelve hundred bushels. It's going to be really hard to pick up the last little bit of corn over here, too. I don't know. <clears throat> okay, we're slowly filling that up. How much uh, corn do we got inside that bin over there? Uh, I would assume we are at like three point something. Thousand? Yes. Okay. We haven't had to move bins yet though, have we? Yep. Interesting. We are at uh, 3.4. Yeah. 2.4? So I guess the old... The old six, yeah. Okay. I'm just trying to pick up what corn we can over here. The rest of it, I don't know how we're going to be able to get it. Unless I got like a little wheel loader. Not a wheel loader, but um, like a bobcat or something. Oh my gosh. Got the wheel loader, baby. All right, Owen, see you, man. Take care. The wheel loader, baby. The wheel loader is saving the day. If there's some left on the ground, not the worst in the world. I mean, I'm pushing it in the grass. You really can't see it. Oh, yeah, I can see where it is. Yeah. It's just kind of like pushing it around. It's not really even like bringing it into the bucket anymore. Two thousand bushels, baby. All right, there we go. We got almost all the corn picked up. <clears throat> Let's see if we can get the rest of it on this last scoop. All right, there we go. We got all the corn. The wheel okay. loader, wheel loader for the win. With this pile, we're going to move. Oh, it's all got in. Woo. Uh, no, we didn't run out of space. We, uh, so we had a spill. I don't know how a spill happened, but a spill happened. Uh, we were trying to put corn in one of the bins, and it just, uh, decided that it wanted to fly out of the bin and go onto the ground. So we had to pick all that up. We had to rent a, uh, we had to rent a wheel loader to pick it all up. There's, uh, in total on the ground, there was. So I got 800 bushels here. And then I have 730 bushels here. So in total, we're about 1,100 bushels I've had spilled out on the ground. But we're doing great. Phenomenal, actually. Just got to make sure that we get everything... Put in the bin, make sure it's all good. How much uh, we got left over here? A little bit left or no? In the what? 
on this field. Oh yeah, we got like at least like four or five bats, I guess. Okay, I almost took out a lot of corn there. I just ramped over the yeah. <laughs> I almost took out a lot of corn. That was bad. Uh, I'm gonna dump the rest of this cart in, so I got 800 bushels going into the truck. Got only 800 in there? Yeah. Oh, yeah, 800 in there. What are you doing to our corn? What do you mean? Oh, you got narrows on there. <laughs> the cart doesn't. <laughs> yeah, the, the cart is it's messed up. So we have. Oh, yeah, we got. Almost, we're going to have over 4,000 bushels here in this bin. So yeah, we're doing pretty good. Hey, make sure if you guys are watching the live, if you haven't already, be sure to smash that like button. Oh, trying to get to our goals. <clears throat> For certain individuals. I think we are just about emptied out here. Oh, yeah. Is that card almost full? Do you need another card, or are we good with just having one? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm pulling them one another and uh, dumping it after. So. Okay, so we're just good with leaving this one shut off right here for now. Oh, yeah, definitely. I'm going to hop in the case. Case combine. Oh, wow. Happy you. Why'd this one cut at an angle and the other one didn't? That's kind of weird. Yeah, the case was doing a, a weird <laughs> alignment. That is kind of weird. Oh, well. We'll just keep going with it, I guess. See what happens. Cutting corn at an angle. Interesting. So we're at 4.8, so 4,800. Plus the 414 in the other bin. That's not bad. I think, uh,. With all the other fields, so we have the other big field left, and then we have the other one that's across the road from it. Well, we'll probably end up with probably about 12,000 total bushels, I'm assuming. Yeah, something like that. That seemed like that worker got lost. Or did you stop the John Deere combine? No, he's still going. I know. That's me going in it. <laughs> oh, no, I never stopped it. He just probably got confused. Got lost along the way. Well, because of the angle, you probably picked up what would have been the end of his field. Anyway, we're almost done here. Um, and yeah. I at the end of this field, I'll be over for me. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah, this is a 4X map. Um... Here, I'll get top or a whole map view. So if you guys look on the screen, you can see the whole map view. What what we're farming right now is just that square mile area and the one that's right across the road. And then thinking about expanding, but we also got to be able to afford a another green, like a grain bin leg or some some other setup. Some we got for better storage because right now it's just we have augers and bins and it's not really it's really slowing down production time. But yeah. 
I think what well, we're gonna get probably one more cart full out of this and another thousand bushels probably. Or what do you think? Yeah, I think that's gonna be about it. Um, and the other, we didn't put anything in the other, right? The other is empty. At the uh, the other bin, it's got are... it's got four hundred fourteen bushels in it. Okay. It took some corn, but it didn't take enough. Like I don't know why it didn't take any. Um, and there was 300 something in the one you sold, I think. Eh? Oh no, it was empty. Yeah, it was 100% empty. That's why I sold it. Um, so set up or basically the dedicated server is set up online, um, through G Portal. Um, you guys can watch videos or anything. I know there's guys out there that have videos that show how to set up maps and all that stuff for G Portal and put all your mods in and stuff. It makes it a lot simpler when you want to do like online play with other people so that way they don't have to worry about like what mods they need to download because for the link there's a link that's um provided and all you guys got to do is just click on the link and then you guys are able to enter into the server or after you download the mods you have to download the mods i recommend putting them in a separate mod folder to make it a lot easier so that way you guys don't get confused with like what mods go where it makes it just a lot easier for you guys to for gameplay and all that, all that kind of stuff and if you guys need to, uh, check out uh, FSG Mod Assistant. I 100% recommend doing that. A hey, Bass Thumb, thanks man for the subscribe. But um, yeah, if check out FSG Mod Assistant. You guys are able to put all your mods into a put all your mods into a folder, and all you gotta do is just upload it to the Mod Assistant, and then it pretty much just allows you to switch back and forth between mods depending on like what you guys are planning on playing for that time or what you guys plan on doing it just makes it a lot easier oh man I might run into you woo God, that was a perfect pass <laughs> I'm missing a little bit of corn like okay, always I'm gonna go unload that alright we gotta figure out what our grand total is for the two fields we did did we get it? Did we at least get a thousand bushels out of beans, or did we not even get anything out of beans? No, we got thirty thousand bucks out of beans. So, yeah, I think it was a thousand, one thousand one hundred something. Hmm. So I know it fit all into a grain cart or into a truck. All right. Well, I I got two hundred thirty yeah. bushels right now. Oh, I'm already unloading. I have no clue. I got 127 here, so let me move that combine out of the way. Right, well, once this gets full, we'll get our grand total lined up. Shouldn't be anything in that other cart, so in total. So you have the, uh, the two uh, gravity wagons also. Yeah, we have those two. If you want, you can bring those over, and then after this truck gets unloaded, we can dump it into the yeah. grain bin. this over here in the yard the yards for the house is gonna be really destroyed now all right so 357 bushel I'm gonna bring our grand total up here over 5,000 plus the 700 so yeah we'll have about six uh, we're probably gonna run out of space honestly <clears throat> unless it lines up perfectly who knows Because there's what seven seven hundred and how many bushels seven hundred fifty three. 
731, yeah. 731? Okay, yeah, that, that should definitely fit in here then. Without a doubt. Let me get the truck moved out of the way for you. And now I have to line up perfectly because that will be almost impossible to back up. <laughs> yeah, with two gravity wagons, that would suck. Well, I'll take it as wide as I can. Right, we're just going to park this kind of back here out of the way. We can always move it later. Get that shut off. Um, If you want, you can... Ah, oh, screw it. Yeah, that, that works, I guess. Is it going to be able to go between the wheels? It should. Are you able to dump that cart? Not where I am now, and I can't pull forward unless you turn it in under there. Hold on, just le it dumps from the side, not from the bottom. Oh, it dumps from the side. Oh, 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 oh. okay. Give me a second. Uh, has no trigger though. Uh, oh, I'm on the wrong one. Give it. Okay. Um. Okay, so first one. Yeah. Still All right. no trigger. Yeah, still no trigger. Let you jump in there. Check if you have one. I don't have any. I got it. We're unloading. I have so much lag right now. Wow. Oh yeah, yeah. You can barely move. Huh? Yeah, these these okay. uh these decorations really produce a lot of lag. I don't know why, but uh. Yeah, Jacob, um, so probably about like on the weekends, uh, we try to get a lot of work done here on the dedicated servers or on the online servers, we're always farming on here. The last time we were on here, we planted all these fields with corn. This time we're uh, harvesting all of them with corn. So probably here soon, we're going to see what we can do for different farm builds, see what, see what other stuff we can do. And we, all, we always do all sorts of all sorts of stuff here. See, let's try to get this gravity wagon all emptied out. I all just right. realized that right in front of the farm, there's a, I think, a pioneer seed seller, reseller. And really? we have all these totes laying around <laughs> for absolutely nothing yeah we got a lot of a lot of empty seed sitting around everywhere <clears throat> yeah, talk, speaking of that where is our uh, that we have no planter how come we have no planter should have had one <clears throat> unless we were renting it um, we might have been renting it No, we we actually don't have a planner, so we might we probably were renting it. That's probably what happened. Hey, sorry, I, I took my headset off. Some kind of alarm is ringing here. Give me a second, I'll be back. All right, almost got everything done here. Last gravity wagons emptying out. Are they, are they both 390s? Uh, oh, no, this one's a 350. Yeah, somebody thought it was a good idea to put the alarm at midnight. Huh. That's an idea. Okay, so where we're at? We are empty here, empty here. Our grand total is 5,922 bushels. That's pretty good. That's double what we had last time. Well, I mean, that's about the same what we had last time, except this time it's on two fields instead of all four. Yeah, it's it. But, I'm gonna so pull. yeah, we have no, no planter. We probably rented it. That's probably what we did. Oops. There's a fence there. So I know we want to upgrade the combine, but I think 
maybe planters would be a good idea. <laughs> oh yeah, definitely. Well, I mean, that's why we have all these seeds lying around? We have nothing to put it in. Also, like if we uh, <clears throat> we sell our grain bins, we haul our corn out next uh, or in January or whatever day it, we need to. We most definitely have enough money to probably be able to get a different combine and probably get planters and a grain bin leg. Yeah, definitely. But, um, yeah, for the future guys, if you guys want to join the, the dedicated and be part of the live stream, uh, you guys have to be part of the, the uh, Discord server. Uh, make sure that you guys are subscribed to me. Make sure you guys react to the right roles that you need to. And, um, if you guys want to join, you're more than happy to. Um, duh, 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 duh. you need to download all the mods that are in there. And if you guys have problems seeing the, Info for the dedicated server again. Make sure you guys have the right roles that you're reacted to, otherwise, you won't be able to see it. But, um, that's going to conclude our corn harvest for today. Uh, three hours, 25 minutes into this live. Make sure you, that you guys go show some love towards Max. He's been a big part of helping me out with doing all these live streams. Uh, this is going to be the end of this live stream, but I appreciate y'all for sticking around, and we'll see you guys in the next one.